Coming in hot on a Wednesday. We can really, we're already fired up here. It's Collider Live. What a crew. Right where we left off yesterday, we're back into it. And if you're one of those people going, wait, why are they talking about aliens and not the new trailer? Fuck off! Because it's one of those days. What trailer where, launched? No trailers. Oh. I don't care about trailers. We're talking about aliens there. in the sky. It's one of those days. I'm excited. And what a crew we have. Sam Cruz yesterday. We got the mighty Roxy Stryer is here. Ooh, so How brave. So, so brave. brave. I gave you a hug today. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were giving me a hug. You are trying to move me away from the fridge. No, that was a joke. <laughs> I was giving you a hug. Um, and then we got Brett Sheridan. How are you, sir? Good. <laughs> good. All right, I like that. That's a good answer. Mixing, mixing it up. Mark Yodius Rileyus. <laughs> Hello. Nice How to see you. How are you? You seem like you're in a nice mood. Uh, I'm in an okay mood. Decent? Yeah, Get decent. some sleep? I got a lot of sleep. Brought yeah. the dog in yesterday? The dog is... When is Riley in. gets sleep, the world is okay. Yeah. 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 And when it's not... Fine. No. Oh, okay. Look out. No restless leg last night? No, no. you know what? I uh, have new medication that is, like, kicking its ass. What are you taking? Weed. Oh, I don't oh. know. Is that uh, Max Propol? I don't fucking yeah. know. And the it's night... something that works. Okay. Mm. And the night terror himself. Max oh, yeah. Josh McCuga. I had some bad ones last night. What happened uh, last night? <laughs> uh, well, I, I had this dream that yeah. uh, the Steelers were playing the Packers in the Super Bowl, mm. and we kept missing field goals. And Amanda said I rolled over in the middle of the night, and I was like, he missed it! He missed it! That's what Are you're you doing serious? Yeah. <laughs> and she, was, she oh. rolled over. And her, uh, my mother-in-law was standing with us the last oh, no. last couple nights. Oh, no, she's, she's the best. Has she she's heard it best. though? Oh yeah. She's no, I meant oh no, right. like the fact that she probably heard you going nuts. Oh yeah. So uh, she left early this morning, and and um, uh, she said to Amanda, "What did what did he miss?" And Amanda's like, "I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> Do they say it? But he's just the weird. He's one. He's just the weird one. So at their house, uh, at the ranch, my in-laws' house, there's only two main bedrooms in the upstairs, and her, my father-in-law has requested I don't sleep upstairs because anymore. Because it's too crazy. Because it's too loud. Because <laughs> there's like a basement, not a basement, there's like an awesome little guest house underneath the house that yeah. we usually stay in because he can't hear me through. How often do you have them? Do you have them nightly? Well, here's the thing. I went to this, last night I went to this crazy rich eating last night. Warner Brothers. Oh, yeah. and it was tell me, amazing. Tell me about that in a second. Yeah. I want to hear about this first. But I had I had like four or five bourbons because they had really oh, good bourbon. Bur- so bourbon there. jacks it up. Drinking in general. Drinking in general okay. takes a little. But I, did, I came home and I wasn't like hammered. I just, you know, I, was, yeah. I had a good buzz. And, he enjoyed himself. You know, I enjoyed yeah. myself. Just recharge the night terrors. Recharge right. the night terrors. And so, like... If I don't drink, it's like one out of four nights. If I drink, it's four out of four nights. If it's all right, I ask this because everything's a bet. Yeah. Um, is there a way <laughs> for us to set up a video camera? Sure, we could probably do that. I would love that. Yeah. Um, because it's not dangerous, right? No, okay. no. Because no. if yeah. I if I get real drunk, <laughs> yeah, and we set up. I mean, here's the thing: Amanda has to be out of town because I'll ruin her night. Right. So that whole next day is ruined for oh, her. All right. Does it make I, you drink less? <laughs> Wait. So you ruined her night last night? <laughs> no, no, I didn't ruin her night. I. If I drink to excess, yeah, I don't want to. She I don't, sleeps I don't in another you, bed. I don't want you to drink excess. I do. I just want to. I just want to get a shot of, of something good happening. Why like didn't that. you want him to drink to excess? <laughs> well, I don't want him to hurt himself. You know, uh, I mean, he's getting older. Well, we, we don't put him out. So five bourbons is the key. Five yeah. bourbons. Yeah. We'll give you five yeah. bourbons, and then sure. we put we put the video camera on for the night. Yeah, and then we 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 see what happens, and then we play we play the audio and the video for the fans. I mean, we've realized as a couple that if we go to a hotel, we can't have one bed. It has to be a two double bed situation. Oh. It can't be just like a king. Has to be too. Why? Uh, because she can't sleep with me if I drink. So if it's a wedding, I'm going to drink. I mean, so she gets whatever. the hell out of the way. So she sleeps in the other bed. But what if you, she? When gets you hammered? guys go to weddings, you sleep in separate beds. No, not every night. But she knows that it's probably going to happen. So as soon as it starts happening, she goes to the other bed, right. puts a pillow over her head, and gets a great night's sleep. But what if she gets hammered and she forgets? Uh, if she doesn't get hammered. No. Amanda has like, she. I've only seen her. Probably like I mean she doesn't mind uh, having a few drinks. Not like she's like sober or anything, but she has you know a few glasses of wine and has a great time. Have she's you not ever a seen drinker her like me. No, no, she's not. Okay, no, so no, she no. she can have a good time with just a little buzz. She doesn't need. Yes. To, wow, okay. what yeah. a great happy medium. Yeah, yeah. never um, figured that one out. Me neither. <laughs> Tell me about this so event crazy. before we move on. Yeah, so uh, Warner Brothers invited us to, or me. I, I think it went out to a lot of people uh, to this thing called Crazy Rich Eating, yeah. and it was the guy. That started the Koji truck here in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. Name's Roy Choi. Love those. He, they trucks. brought out like nine dishes. Isn't it Kogi? Kogi? I thought it was Koji. Oh, whatever. I thought it was Kogi. Kogi? Whatever. I, I know it's, it's delicious. Kogi. Kogi. The barbecue. Kogi. Yes. Yeah. Koji. I thought it was Kogi. 
Koji. I think it's Koji. Roxy's just sounding it out to herself. She doesn't even know. <laughs> Koji. Yeah. That's, yeah, I think that's it's Koji. Basically, yeah. it just, when you say it so many times, it doesn't sound right, but I think it's Koji. All right, okay. well, we can all agree that it's delicious. Chug yes. Cheese. Fuck all right. yeah. All right. So uh, it, they had Now this, we're back on the same team. Yeah. They had this pop up restaurant, full bar. Uh, there was a six o'clock and an eight o'clock. I went to the eight o'clock, and the, from the six o'clock, I saw Gray Drake coming out. I was oh. like, hey, Gray. And she was like, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> like, she was so, like, she was so excited about it. So the wife got excited. Love her. Yeah, she's the she's best. The best. Uh, we need to have her on the show. Yeah. Riley, make yeah, it happen. Yeah. 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 Uh, so we they had like nine total dishes, all served family style, and we got so lucky. We sat at this table with a dude who does movie reviews for a parade magazine and whatever. He's like a freelancer, right? really good guy. Is I got that his LGBTQ information. LGBTQ magazine? No, it's in like the weekend paper. I remember always getting oh. the parade in our weekend you don't paper. Remember his name? I don't, but he's a really nice guy. Uh, and then I said we sat next to these two vegans. Not that nice. You remember his name? Yeah, I know. Amanda might remember his name. Tommy. I'm so bad with names. I think it was like Louis. Matt, Billy, or Sam. Sam. Sammy. Bob. It might be Sam. Maybe his yeah. name was Kogi. Joe, <laughs> Chris, Kogi Lewis. I think Brian. we settled on Sam. 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 <laughs> we decided at the same time, so we're gonna go Sam. Sam. Mm. Sam. Sam. Sam Kogi. Could be something else. Yeah. Kind of ruins the story, but go ahead. <laughs> Sam Kogi. Can't wait to get to the end of this. Let's, yeah. No, this is a good one. Let's good keep. Mind. Let's keep it going. <laughs> So, so you're figuring out the guy's name. I and fucking hate Brett Sheridan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him at all. I don't know why he's here three days a week. When he was here one set once a month, it was fucking awesome. It was like the best show on the internet. And now that he's back, it's like go back to Germany, you fucking douche. Uh, we're gonna have. We're gonna have. Go back to Germany the, is such a strong statement. Does yeah. Makuka really hate you, Brett? That's the <laughs> conversation I have to have on the way home. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Thank, Thank you, your mother. We're gonna have. Your, your wife listens? No, no that's my mother. Oh. <laughs> His wife knows I don't like him. I've told her before yeah. many a time. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, Danish Christian Herloff talking to uh, who we missed that German yesterday. Brett German Brett Sheridan yeah. a little Wait, bit. Okay, I'm actually invested in the Koji. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. No, so Sam Koji. We Sam sit Koji. down. By the way, it's hot, it's hot as balls in here. It's, it's so very fucking hot, hot in here. I'm in a fucking sweater and Whoa. I have nothing underneath. Uh, is I'm it, just thinking about that. Uh, really hot. Alex, is there a way to uh, pump up the air conditioner if possible? No. No. I don't, don't think we can. Yeah. Uh, we never have been able to. Yeah. I think uh, we just can. can breeze. Just, someone just asked that. <laughs> we'll ask that. Right. There's, a, there's an AC. No, I think when I looked, that just goes to nothing. That's just no, a vent. They, no, no, no. They, they, they have Both it, of them? It does. A We've, few weeks we'll, ago, it was freezing in here, and it's amazing. Because there's Yeah, this some, is open air, so this is just a... But that yeah, we, must no, no, have it should be. It should be cooler in here, because it's, it's November. All right. This is such Go good, good radio and content for the people, yeah. It's the show. Yeah, absolutely. They, now they know. Now they know it's fucking hot. They know hot that it's here. hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> so if tensions run high, yeah. it's because it's fucking right. hot. Yeah. Go ahead. Koji, Sam. So I sit down and this. <laughs> Koji. <laughs> Koji, Sam. Sam Koji. High in the ball. Uh, hell Sammy, of a K. Guy. Sammy K. Sammy K. <laughs> Sammy K. Hell of a dude. Right. Great stand up. Uh, <laughs> so I sit down and this couple sits next to us to go, uh, we're vegan. And I was like, oh, great. And no. no, that is great with meat. Correct. So yeah. they start bringing all this stuff like, oh, we can't have that. We can't have that. I'll and I'm like, it. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. And Reminds me of the time that Adam Winkleman and I stole a steak off of uh, someone's plate when they left it at Riley's wedding. <laughs> that's a good move. That's yeah. a really they good left move. It there this, for, this, this, that's from your playbook. Bro. They, they yeah, left yeah. it there. They left that thing there too long. You and we were and we were probably a couple bourbons in. Look, it was they were so they left glad. it there. They left it there for a I've, long time. It was, it was, they were gonna, the waiters were gonna throw it marriage out. Marriage didn't last, but dancing? people were fed. <laughs> Oh, really well fed. I mean, the fucking USC band came out and played for God's sake. That, that was a yeah, it was a horse and pony show. That wow. <laughs> That that wedding was so fucking ridiculous. It was like something and I had just, zero control of it, and no. we're divorced. It was like it was like something so you saw. Like, you know when you're walking through like an amusement park and you stop for a hot dog, and here comes the band. Right? It's like just, that, that's what happened at the wedding. Like we were just sitting there talking. You're like bam, bam, bam. There's people with their shirts off running around. Like I was like, it was it was bizarre. People were singing it, in a conga line. Was it good? Was it, it, cool? it was it was yeah, insane. It was a good wedding. But, uh, it was insane. <laughs> the food was actually good. I've never had good wedding food. The, the, the steaks were delicious. <laughs> Sorry, two of them. The multiple steaks. The multiple were delicious. steaks. Were delicious. Yeah. I've been at weddings before where wonderful people haven't sat at the table or something hasn't shown up, and I was like, "You can just bring their dinners." And the guy's like, "No, we don't do that." I was like, "Why? You were going to serve them anyway." Right. I've gotten legit heated discussions with servers about why not to bring the extra why meals. Why not to do it? I'll have four chicken piccatas. I don't care. Exactly. I want the food. Get the it, food. At a wedding, they give you like. 
a piece of broccoli, a miniature steak, and yeah. a dollop of potatoes. Not at his wedding. This, yeah, yeah, was this packed, was yeah, good food. It was good. And like my wife still to this day goes, do you guys remember <laughs> when you took the steak off that person's plate? I thought they were yeah. like, yeah, it's a great move. Well, Tom and I, uh, when we went out to Riley's uh, grandma's place, we That's went to this, uh, this sushi spot. And we get there. And Tom Dagnino. Tom Dagnino. Yeah. And uh, it was Riley, Julie, me, Amanda, uh, Tom, and Erica. And we get there, and there's these people leaving this table, and there's a full plate of sushi. Tom and I both were like... And right. started eating Eat. it, and, and the girls like, judged us. Yeah, and, and the server was like, "That was a little odd." And Tom's like, "What? What? What? What, what's, what's wait, 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 what was wrong about eating the plate of sushi? Are you kidding? It was, it it was the people's before us. Oh, I see. Nah. They, it didn't fucking, look like they touched it. That is fucking disgusting. It's not disgusting. That is fucking disgusting. It wasn't. It wasn't touched. <laughs> there was nothing to it. There wasn't a fork in Would it. Would you have like, left? Oh. I used done? to. Uh, if, you, if you were, if you were with either, uh, either Tom Dinino or Josh McCuga, if you were his significant other, and you showed up and they started doing that, well, what di- happens? Different. If you're my significant other and you yeah. do that, you get no kisses. Oh, because yeah. that's in your mouth. Unless you fucking <laughs> right. disgusting. So if ben, if ben was just like, I got a man that pregnant someone. that night. She was Did so. You? Ex- no. Oh, <laughs> so that would have been a good Is way to pregnant? reveal it. No. Oh no! Is Amanda no. pregnant? She's Amanda not. pregnant? Guys, Amanda this just did. Hashtag, hashtag Everybody start tweeting Amanda, at Amanda. Ma- Amanda Macuga expecting hashtag. Oh um, boy! All right, that's gonna not. Yeah. Go well. Go oh, drive it home. By the way, women don't like to be accused of being Come pregnant on, when they're not. Drive it home. Drive it home. Drive it home. Let's yeah. do it. Uh, no, so it's not your kid. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. No. Uh, no. So we and then they gave me like a to go like bucket. Mm. They were like, "Do you want Where some of this to go? It's in my refrigerator at home. What do you think it is? I would like some." You're not gonna we get, get lunch it. together every yeah. Wednesday. You couldn't have brought me any. We're all oh, she, my bad. she loves to eat other people's food. Yeah, she um, my other people had dug their fork in it. Yeah. So, but you know who those people were. I did. Think, think about no, just no, just my you, wife and three no, randos. You saw them though. Like, think about the grossest person you've ever met. Okay. That's who sushi could have been. It was a sushi spot we were, no, in we were, Newport we were Beach. Looking at them. We, could, they were they were they were well-to-do ladies. That, right. yeah. You know how much of the sushi was left? There was like five pieces of a tuna roll. They didn't touch it. Yeah. It's that's and we were starving. That's good spicy tuna yeah. going to waste. Drunk? Oh yeah, we'd have a few drinks. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we booze cruised um, over. Yeah, booze All right. over. Well, good. Yeah. So you had a nice time. Oh, that's great. Good. It was fantastic. Oh, that was the day that Finstock skipped Ben and Drew's yeah. thing. That's Correct. exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So the, to the eat plot sushi on plates. Mm. So mm-hmm. you're mad at me because you're mad at me because of the triscuits? Yeah. This is uh, this is a, a real problem. <laughs> great. It's not a problem. So, okay. I'm gonna tell you why. On my way over here, I was thinking my or before I left my apartment, I was like, should I eat some Ritz? Because I got Ritz crackers in my place, and I was like, no, no, no. You stop living the high life. Yeah. Just. He's up on the clutch was, with the gold brag. I was like, brag. you know what? You know, I fucking love Ritz. Uh-huh. I was like, you know what? No, I want Triscuits. I'm going to have some Triscuits today. Because I remember yesterday there was a full box. Mm-hmm. Sure. It was an entire full box. I'm going to have to disagree yesterday. with it because I picked up that box. It was already open. It was about half full. I ate half of yeah. a what Triscuit ta- and time, gave it to Cal. What time did you pick it up? Like 12, 15. Okay, so I picked it up around 9 a.m. It was a full box. Oh, okay. It was a I, full box. I, I had the Triscuits after you did. Remember? Because yeah. I said, why are you eating my Triscuits? Why are you eating my Triscuits? And I said, I'm sorry. F- there was a full box in the morning yesterday okay. so I figured no way so when I was leaving yesterday I saw Christian I first I saw Mark have a Triscuit mm-hmm. I had two Triscuits mm-hmm. and then I saw Cal Christian had at least two Cal had okay, a Triscuit I saw you feed Cal a Triscuit mm-hmm. so that's right. not on him that's on you and Correct. then I see Christian Un- come out yeah. Christian yeah. comes out zero Triscuits goes into the box Just that I bought and, and did what you did not buy the box yes, he did buy the box he did so go ahead finish your story so why is it not on your desk he was saving that because I, I bought it and for the I, community, I put well, I put the, I put it all out there. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. There's coffee out there that I bought because we never buy coffee here. Yeah. Uh, awesome. your, yeah. your wallet, so you don't weird. expense your triscuits. No, this is all. This is all. All stuff right. Well, then I have no argument. Exactly. If they're so your triscuits, I wanted, then you're to, your triscuits. I, I wanted you to tell a story so that way I could tell you that they were mine. So on off air, I said <laughs> to him, "I'm right pretty into pissed." That trap. But here's yeah. the thing: what, right what, a, what a dickhead. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Are you expecting anything different? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, honestly, thank you for the two triscuits You're I welcome. had yesterday. You're welcome. <laughs> Boy, that guy. I appreciate. There's a Christian. That got heated. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, folks! There is a, the, let's the, the, the Christian We tax. thought we thought the story the other day was intense. <laughs> <laughs> a triscuit story. Get out of town, I, Jack. I, I, I do wish though that there were triscuits. So yeah, when I he, see the chat room right well, now. Well, I sure. that was the thing when I had, because so we we when we do an event or we have something. To uh, Alex and Wendy will go. I say, hey, I give a list. I always put Triscuits on there because I, I love, love Triscuits. Triscuits. Triscuits are my favorite. I like the thin ones, but they got the other ones. It's do fun. you know why they're called they Triscuits? Basil. No, do you? It was a Jeopardy question. Yeah. No, what? Thrice baked, three baked uh, layers. Uh, Triscuits. Try biscuits. Try. Wait, they got the wow. other ones? Yeah. What's that? They didn't get the thin ones? No, you should want to fire them. The fuck, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what's weird? Well played, Copster. I don't Alex. know if you guys do this. What? Do you guys ever get the Pick thing? Pick my feet? Mm. No. Hmm. Coming back to that. Do you guys ever get the thing you don't like as much? Like, why don't I get Triscuits when oh. I go grocery shopping? Why do I get Ritz instead when I like Triscuits? Do you make a list? Mm -mm. That's why. Is it you price? Make a list. Are you looking at the price and going, well, no. Ritz? No. No, no. Just sometimes you get the, th like when you see something else, you're like, oh, I, why didn't I get that? Now, being married makes you realize that you need to create lists for shopping. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, this, is the, this is what I get all the time. If you see something and it's going lower, put it on the list. <laughs> What if you use the last det detergent slice, put it on the list. <laughs> no more garbage bags. List. <laughs> this fucking list. And yep. it's like, and I'm like, mm -hmm. ah, but I, I figured I'd just get it when I was there. But you're not good at the grocery shopping, so I need to know. That uh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. If I so didn't put live it on the list. basically next door to a Ralph's, yeah, same. I would I would make a list. But I go and I'm like, la 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 la. You don't and have then next you roll door in there. Yeah, he does. It was pretty it's close. It's like two blocks away. Yeah. I can walk to a Ralph's we, in like our, six it's minutes. Rock and Roll Ralph's. I know where it is. Yeah, Rock and Roll Ralph's is further. You walk there? Rock and Roll Ralph's is on the corner of Sunset and Fuller. Yeah, and Fuller is like a couple blocks from you. Fuller is three blocks That's from my apartment. That's more than a couple. <laughs> What do you do when you have groceries? Let's ask the fans. Which is close. Don't call it out. I'm to trying live... to put a fucking phone call together. I used to oh, live okay. right next to Trader Joe's mm -hmm. uh, because you knew I lived like two streets from you. And when that Trader Joe's yes. moved in, I it's still one block of me having 17 grocery bags. I'm not saying that I walk to there. I'm just saying oh, I live oh, okay. so close That's... that I can drive in a minute. I just wanted to make sure you weren't oh, walking no. to the grocery store. What am I, store. a peasant? Yeah, I go to that <laughs> Ralph's like every day almost. Just oh, we're like, solving like a lot of things Shopping today. just like boom, boom, boom. What do you get? get? What do you get when you're there? What's your favorite thing? <laughs> this, this what do you get, get at the grocery this store? This is the yeah. best. Best you show know ever. I yeah. get all the time now oh, ginger, lemon, and apple. There you go. And Are that's these even for on? the juicing in the yeah. morning. Well, now here, now, but now Riley's become like that person that just found God, and he's like, you know what you should do? You should really take a shot of ginger, apple, and whatever the yeah. fuck I'm you're doing. I'm not giving you. It changes yeah. your life. It changes you, your life. Try the, to yeah. try to put some cumin in there. What I need to stop oh. doing at these events that we get do here, I gotta stop having them get the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the pretzels and onion dip. Because well, wait, the, no, that's I mean the good. vegetable and no, ranch dip. No, I get it's. I thought the vegetables. It's, no, the, the, the vegetables. Wait, no one eats the vegetables. What the fuck are you talking about? So I get every single time. I've been getting this for years. My aunt, uh, my my ex aunt, uh, who was my step aunt, right? She used to make the Lipton the Lipton uh, noodle soup dip, right? But you the onion mix with sour cream. You mix it up, pretzel rods. It's like my it's my it's, party. It's delicious. It's the best. I get it at every party. It's pretty good. Yeah, I could kill people afterwards of what's going on in there afterwards. I went to the premiere record Ralph, this poor kid that was sitting close to us. Because I'm telling you, man, that wreck that fucking onion dip, it destroys your insides. It, it, Wait, it, you were it, farting it, or you were burping? Yeah, no farting. farting. It, it, this, 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 this kid probably hated the movie. Yeah. I'm telling you, had to have hated the movie. I can't believe you guys can fart in public. It oh. wasn't on purpose. No, but it wasn't. You can't hold it in yes, either. Yes, you can. No, Listen, you can't. So I'm telling you about the onion dip. Yes, Do you know you how can. bad it is for your insides yeah, to hold yeah. in a fart? So you'd rather destroy everybody around you? Well, you, well, I, I want to see if Roke even noticed. <laughs> Is it a sneeze or a cough? Sneeze. Bless you. Uh, thank you. It's a snuff. It's a snuff. Is it bad that I say bless you? No. Why? Because you're okay a nice person. Yeah. I don't know. I, about it. You. I farted during who, the who podcast. Who fucking bless somebody? What, yesterday? I, Ken and I were recording the afternoons yesterday, yeah. and I farted, and Ken goes, Did you fart? <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't think he'd smell it. I think he'd go that far. I was like, Oh, I got it. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, Ken saying yeah. that. Fart. Yeah, uh -huh. that's uh -huh. it. That's good. It, they were bad. I mean, here's the thing: is that I, if I held it in, okay, because there's always that first date with a girl, right? Yeah. Oh man. You go on the first date, and you, and she's like, "Let's go to the Cheesecake Factory or someplace that's going to give you gas," which could be any restaurant for me because right. I have gas twenty four seven. Yeah. I started taking like Italian. multiple things. Yeah, multiple things that would reduce the smell of the gas, right. depending. Like firecrackers, more than anything. Correct. Yeah. It was, yeah. Right. It wasn't a warm one. No. Yeah, you know, you know those. I know. Wait, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. wait, what? But let's we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Come back. So the entire date, you're holding in farts. You're at a movie. You're holding you're like, oh, no, right, right, right. You know hurt. it. You know it. You and then she's like, "You want to come in?" I'm like, ah, "I got an early morning." As soon as you get back in the car, like the longest farts in history. This is uh, something that happened to me. Oh my god, I can't be in here. That's fine. In college, <laughs> that's what I you guarantee want, you. The first time you went out with Ben, he held he in a fart for tore. four I days. I don't mind people farting at all. Yeah. I just don't understand this, like. The sound. The sound. Just a fucking. I don't have to make right. the sound. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, then put no, it was that, and then it's just yeah. the whole. All right. Yeah. So they put in ear ear earmuffs. Um, ah! Put on your headphones. I was dating a girl in college, uh -huh. and so it was like first first second date. We went out. 
great date. Right? But having the problem that you're mm-hmm. having here, right? Where'd you go? I mean, we're in college. I think it was like, I don't want to tell you an Applebee's, but it was something along you those lines. You want the refried or the black beans? Put was, them both right. on. It was Let's something along weird. those lines. We went out, and, you know, I'm 20, I was 20, yeah. whatever. She was like 19. <laughs> and, but again, it winds up being my girlfriend eventually, mm-hmm. but we go on our first date, drop her off at the apartment. I'm like, this same thing. You want to come up? I'm like, no, I'm good. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll give you a call. And, there was this whole complex, and it was a machine gun. On the way. It was, like, uh, it was. I couldn't believe it. It was a record <laughs> to this day. Like, yeah, you keep it's like, so, it, it, dude. I, from from the second I left, it was a huge complex you guys all the way back. Remember your fart? This, oh, this one. some of them I can this, still remember. This was this was legendary. This was like yeah. this was like a, like um, I could picture like a World War II movie, and someone <laughs> shooting like and Pitt using and the sound Fury of it when he gets out of the but tank. But using the sound of it because it went on for that long. It was. I was like, that, there's something. I mean, I was impressed and scared at the uh, same time. I fart so much. My wife mentioned it in our vows. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, my yeah. my wife said too. She's like recently. She goes. She's she goes. You hid this for years, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Well, yeah. You know, now where are you gonna go? Do oh, you, Amanda would. I would first times I would I'm sleep so... over her place. <laughs> she's like, what do you do in the morning? I was like, oh, you know, I go. I usually go for a walk for about ten to fifteen minutes. And she's like, why? I was like, I like to get you know like up my metabolism. No, I just went outside and farted for fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> straight in the morning, but walking like around her block. Something's wrong. No, it's not. It's healthy to fart. It's good to get it out. And do you? N- it's not. <laughs> I love Roxy. You don't so poop for like eleven days. Yeah, for audio, that's for really audio bad. listeners, audio listeners, Roxy right now is so perplexed. It's incredible. <laughs> Because why? Why every morning for fifteen minutes? Because you your have body to fart? holds in the farts pretty in. much all night. Letting it go. Anytime you guys eat, you just have to fart. Uh, it doesn't matter if I I could be starved for three days and my farts would still be the lights out. Right. Do you remember the first fart you did in, uh, in front of your significant other and that that opened I up hiding your them. world? I remember hiding. Yeah, yeah. It no, opened. you would hide it. But I used then to hide them later, for a long time. It's gonna happen, I, and then. The, the, the proverbial so, dam. Yeah, you say this is bursts. it. You're in or you're out. Yes. You're in or you're yeah. out. Yeah. And uh, it's great. It's what? free. It's free. Okay, yeah. So did they do it back to you guys? No. Oh, yeah. oh no. Amanda yeah, hides no, her. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I, no. The girls don't. Yeah, Lonnie totally did. She just just tears it out. No, she, it she gave out. me. A, I, I remember the first eye burner from a little sushi <laughs> night, <laughs> and, and it was. And then I was like, I'm in love. I'm yeah. in love. Yeah. yeah. My wife was like, like just, we we're on the couch and just like, where'd that come from? And she's like, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. They don't. It's like by accident. Oh no! Where, where, this ours is ca- calculated. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, no, mine was a, accident. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be in friend. bed and I'll catch a smell, and she'll just look at me like with these big eyes, like sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. They don't mean to. Do it. They don't mean it. She doesn't yeah. mean to. She just. You guys can't. don't mean to either. Though. No, we yeah. totally do. I can't hold it in. So I, Roxy, it's bad for you. you it's really Roxy, bad for you. I always. Your uh, my mine is. It's always. It'll always one of these. And I try. I do it my grandfather did. Right. So if it's but. This is fucking killing me. <laughs> is this that, like the horror if movie? That happens, but if that happens in the kitchen, right, my <laughs> wife will go from, from wherever she is. She could be doing laundry <laughs> in the next room. And, and all you hear is this. Don't think I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that happens every time. Babe! Yeah. Don't, why are you doing it here? Why do you want me to go to the car? <laughs> Legitimately, the main reason I want a dog is to blame the farts uh, on the, 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 the dog. Oh, oh yeah. that's what babies are the best. Bad one yesterday. Yeah. Walking a baby yeah. around, it's all, oh, the yeah. baby made a poo-poo. That's oh, right. Poo-poo. Roxy, Roxy, stinky as fart. Go. I'm just kidding. All right, move, <laughs> move, 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 move. I, I, I would like that. If you, you well, like listen, that? you need to start yeah. taking the psyllium husk try. like we've told you about. The psylium husk will change your Ben doesn't rip it in front of you? No, all the time. Oh, he does? All the time. Oh, okay. Which I have no problem with. Why are you judging us? I'm not judging you guys. You just I just don't. I don't it. really get it. Oh. I don't get it. I, get and farts? I say it to him like, "We'll be somewhere," and he like can't help but farting. And I'm like, "Can you not though? Like, wait till we're home." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> F-A- You're fucking killing me. F A F. Oh. Fart on. Farts. Fart, fart, farts, farts are funny. Uh, uh, farts, farts are funny. Uh, Number one rule. I like that you said A and I said on. Yeah. Uh, uh, ew. Fart. It, it just there's something fart about on Freddy. it. And maybe I'm jealous. Oh. Maybe there's that. You want to be able to rip it out? I yeah. yeah. I think that probably would feel like good relief. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Maku, were you the one teaching me to burp the other day? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying that. I'm I would about love. My diaphragm. I'll tell you what I love. It's Oscar. It's Oscar season's coming up, right? This is a transition to this. <laughs> yes. And imagine, someone's like, well, you know what? We should try to get. Uh, we should try to get Meryl Streep on Collider Live. Yeah. What What do they do on that show? <laughs> yeah. And they tune in <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl, first time you fart in front of your husband, yeah. go. Christian in the gas in yeah. the morning. Well, I'll make a note that we won't 
link this show. <laughs> Why not? We'll, we'll do the or end. the first one. Meryl, Meryl or loved the... the show. She wants to talk about the first one ever in front of Glenn. Yes. yes. I don't know if that's his name. I have I... not farted in front of Ben ever, not once. Yeah. Not one not time. Not by accident. You also. No, I, I mean, I haven't probably farted in like six months. That's what? really well, bad. That's dangerous. For you. Again. Very bad. Very bad. Have you bad. felt like you've had to or no? They, so here's what happens when my birds and my farts. They, I feel them. They just don't come out. They bubble oh. in my body mm. and then nothing. Oh, maybe it comes out of your ears. Have you had your insides looked at? By like a doctor? <laughs> no, by, by a Macuga. strange serial killer who then tied you back up and put you no, together. I guess not. Have you like gone to a gastroenterologist? No, I probably should. You should. The you way you describe pain. your inside yeah. and your stomach, it's not good. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I have a, okay. So I have a friend. I thought that this was weird. Maybe you guys did this too growing up. So the, my my friend, he's 29. He lives in LA. He, he's kind of he's a, a piece of shit, but that's besides the point. He teaches point. pottery. And he's no, your he friend, doesn't though. teach. Pro, he doesn't teach pottery, but he lives with eight other guys. They live in a house with eight dudes. And how they, old is Shaq? 29. Uh, and they are they running a porn uh, gangbang thing? Yeah, what's happening? No, it's a, it, 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 but it's a valley thing. Yeah. And they are they made a rule because it was so bad that you can't fart in the living room. You can only fart in your own bedroom. Oh. So if you're sitting on the couch you guys are watching something you have to get up go to your bedroom close the door fart come back and sit down well and it just trails you it, that's a terrible idea because then you much. then you then you diffuse the whole house right then you then you actually contaminate all of the bedrooms and then it goes through vents so now you're actually putting way more fart as to if you were to contain it and open windows and have a fan it would be way better for you listen i've done you guys the science have no farting farts. rules there was no like no it's a natural thing yeah i mean there's sometimes you just let it I mean, my dad did kick couch. me in the hallway one time for farting no, you got to be careful sometimes too is it like there's I'll have like aggressive ones sometimes. Yeah. I'm meaning that if it's if we're if my wife and I are in the middle of an argument, I don't want to deal with it anymore. It's just, right. and she's like, "All right, I guess that's the end of that one." Um, but yeah, I just it, it's got to. Is happen. it from the PTSD of that guy farting on you? At the oh first yeah, date? maybe, maybe, maybe that was it. Oh. Do, you, do you guys ever have a fart that ruins sex? That no, I won't do. I, no. Yeah, no, that I won't do. What yeah, do you no, mean? No, no. no farts during I'm, sex. No farts Not during sex. sex. It ruins sex. So, like, oh. you guys are, like, making out in bed and, no. like, you're getting in the mood. Can't do it. No, no, no. That's no. that's a no-no. Too that's, much that's concentration. Like, so you can hold it in. Well, yeah, that's like farting in church. So you can hold it in. Yeah, that's because different. you have so other... So you can hold it in. You guys all want to admit out loud you could hold it in. We don't want to. Yeah, but there's times, too. I totally admit you could. Well, so at the movies, you could hold it in. Oh, no, no. That was, that was no. That would have been bad for everybody if I did that. That would have been bad because, it, seriously, the onion dip. My wife always tells me, "Do not buy that stuff. <laughs> Do not buy it." Cause you know but you're I'm in saying for. you could have held it in, it, so it's rude. No, could it's have. Rude. I'm telling you right now that there's no way I could have held that in, and I feel so bad. So what for if you were about to have sex? Different. It's different. It's different preparation. I don't feel like yeah, this is it's legitimate. a different. Yeah. It's a. Di his wife's not there naked in the movie theater waiting for sex. It's just a bunch of randos in Ellis. Right, and no, Ellis Roca. hasn't farted. He, Ellis, oh, Ellis Roca. was there, but yeah, Ellis, he was, he he's at, like you. He was, he was out of the blast zone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, let's move on. Um, I do want to. I will tell you this. I got one step closer to the thing yesterday. Really? To watching I watched, the thing. I watched, Whatever. I watched a trailer. Oh, good for I was you. the first of <laughs> uh, the trailer. It looks. It's like a good eighties movie. <clears throat> I, I mean, watched, Kurt Russell is never going to watch it. I watched the trailer. I got close. I mean, I my curiosity. I can't wait to go to your house next time because I'm going to steal this. I'm going to steal I'll break your fucking kneecaps. There it is. Hmm. Oh, that's fine. A little aggressive. At least I'll have, so? I'll, I'll, I'll have the thing Blu ray. Hmm. I'll, I'll watch that Blu ray yeah. while but my I, kneecaps heal. I'm just telling you that I watched the trailer and it made me say, okay, maybe one day. Uh, um, <laughs> there's an interview that we didn't get to yesterday. There was an interview of uh, a friend who was supposed to call in and didn't get a chance to, but now. Brett went to Germany, and Brett, you had a lot of great experiences in Germany. We have a Danish friend. We have a Danish friend uh, ha happened to have that has a wonderful name of Christian Harlow. Um, Danish Christian Harlow, how are you? Oh, Christian, hello. It's nice to see you. It's again. very good to be here. I yeah. love the um, the Kalada live, especially. So in De in Denmark, yes. we have a very uh, special tradition. Right. So after dinner, from the hours of seven thirty to seven thirty-five, That's sometimes seven forty. Okay. Right afterwards, the whole family gets together and farts. I like that. <laughs> yes. it's, it's, it's tradition. Uh, where it is. You're from. Yeah, yeah, because like the, the farting. On the count of three, kind of thing. No, no, no. We get together and we uh, let our bodies. Listening to Strom. Uh, well, Stein Bromson. Stein, excuse me. Stein Bromson. Sorry. She is a very large proponent of the 
a release of the gas. Coordination because, farts. Yes, everybody knows in Denmark we are famous for two things. A very high ta- tax structure yes. and farting. Oh, and okay. um, and you know, Stein Bronson. Well, of course, Stein right. Bronson. Let's go to she has a specific song for the farting to go along with? No, no. She d- but she does have many a sound effects that sound like farty. Right. But, you know, right. All right, well, listen. So, so it's nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Um, now, this is I don't know if you've met our good friend Brett Sheridan. I have not. So Brett Sheridan, Danish Christian Harlow. Hello. Oh, very nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yes. All right. Pleasure. <laughs> so, Brett, you were in Germany. What were some of the fun things that you saw? And, and, and Christian, you can say if you've ever been there before to it's, do. It's uh, pronounced Deutschland over there in Europe oh, and everything. Okay, well, yeah. how was it in Deutschland? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Thanks for watching tell the show. Me, tell um, me about your doing great show. Yeah. Um, yes, I was at uh, 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 Spiel in Essen. Oh, Germany. Essen! It's yeah. lovely yeah. this yeah. time of year. Yeah, so Brett, 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 Brett is actually a very good improver, so I'm hoping he's going to kick in a gear here. Yes, he's uh, going. He, I've, I've watched his show he's before, good. Yeah. and he's doing very much a Roxy Stryer yeah. improv. Yeah. Is he good at it? He was one boy. of the. He was one of the best. He was one of the best. I'm great well. at improv. I, I would have to tend to disagree with you on this one. All right, well let's get back. Yes, and let's get back. So Brett, you so, were in Germany. Tell me about your, tell Christian about your trip to Germany. What happened? There? So at Spiel, did you see the Glocken, the Glocken and Hawken? Did you see the if, uh, we in Denmark or Germany, perhaps wherever? Uh, you, shoots and ladders is just called falling down and surviving. Have you yeah. played this game? Have you played that one? <laughs> yes, and I saw lots of other things. See, I'm good at improv. <laughs> like what, yeah. what else? What did you? But what about the shoots and ladders? Did you did you did do you play the falling ladders? down it's, and surviving? It's actually snakes and ladders. Oh, over there. yes, yes. yes you, so you, if you fall down the ladder. You get eaten by snakes. Eaten by snakes. Yes. yes. This yes. is a very popular game. Okay. What were some? What are some of the treats that you think Brett should have gotten when he was now? Over did there? you have the chocolate and vanilla bonbons, or just the chocolate bonbons, or did you have? Or did you have the liquid bonbon? Did, what what kind of bonbons did you get into? I got the the, the multi pack. Oh, I the multi pack. I had a sampler pack of all of the bonbons. What was your? Now, did you drink many of beers over there? Um, I had two or two or two to ten. Two to ten beers. Yes. Did, did you have Kolsch beer? Did you have the alt beer? I, I did a lot of uh, pills. Pills. Yes, so yes. the gopos. Okay, yeah, yeah. lovely, lovely okay. this time of year. Good. So, would you say would now? See, my family has been to Spiel twice. Spiel. Mm-hmm. Yes. What well, would you like uh, at Spiel? N- not, not that uh, I don't want to brag or anything, okay. but Stein Bromson played Spiel 2014. Oh, okay, yeah, good. It was it was very large very performance. Nice. Did you have and a chance to see Stein Bromson? That's you bragging because you I went. Did, I couldn't get in. Yes. The, the line was too long. Oh, was, you should yeah, have called me. Yeah, yeah, you, you need to call me next time you're in Germany, and uh, my family will come. We've all fought together, and we'll go to Spiel. Um, can you tell me why the sun never comes? Out. What, well, what, see, so this time of year in you know Germany, question. Denmark, you know perhaps these Scandinavian countries, uh, is that the cloud cover uh, produces many hops that is good for the beer. Uh, up there in the north, oh. we are prepping for uh, the you know the winter time. It only gets sunny for three hours, and so we just only like to, three. It's only three hours, okay. three. and so d- during that time of year, we are, we're just prepping for darkness. So we just have requested that the clouds stay, and then the moisture builds. Mm-hmm. And we're able to build many uh, houses and everything that keeps the moisture in. That's why our countries are so green. Who do you send that request to? Uh, we have a weather man. <laughs> weather? Yeah. Okay. Was a weather man. Just uh, weather. What is the weather, Sorry, what is the weather man's name? Yeah. Uh, the weather man, like here in Los Angeles, we you have a Dallas rains. Yes. We have Denmark rains. Denmark rains. Oh. Yeah. Are they related anyway? Uh, yes. It's a, uh, they, they were married to the same women. Oh, we're well, not blood related. Not blood related. I understand. They were married that. to the same woman. Woman. At one time in their life, so, in their life. so the Dallas a, Reigns right. is currently married to him, but Denmark and they Reigns took was on her, and they took on her name. Yeah, well, that's it's the different, Denmark different tradition. tradition. Right. I understand. Yes. Okay, right. well, it was very nice that to see sense. you. Uh, it's it's you. lovely always being here. Come back, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, we'll see you soon. I, I will say much to Brett Sheraton that I love that he had German, he came to Germany, and he is close as Denmark. Next time, you shall come to Denmark. I, w- I will definitely come. Yes. to Denmark. Well, thank you so much for joining. Us. Uh, of All course. right, we're gonna move. Thank you, uh, Danish Christian Harlow. I hope, I hope that the real Danish Christian Harlow one time will actually call into this show. Please God. Great. I, w- I will die and go to heaven, but does he speak English? <laughs> how the hell do I know? I, well, because he's your everybody he's you. mate. Yeah. Everybody in those Northern European countries are speak English. Right. Yeah. S- Switzerland, Denmark, Scandinavia. Uh, I mean, Scandinavia is not a country. Sweden, Denmark. Um, what's the other one? You know, Norway. One, no, Norway. Thank you. Right. They're all speaking English. They're, they they. Like, are they learn English in the second grade on, and they they speak better English than half of us. Well, maybe That's true. it'd be so bizarre. Maybe we should actually reach out to him, send him like a DM <laughs> yeah. or something. And he'd just be like, "What is this show?" Uh, <laughs> all right, we got, yeah. Sorry, Roxy. No, I just have a random question, but you what can you move us in a different. I was going to go to news. Oh, you want to you want to talk about your random question? No, it doesn't. No, matter. please. We would like some random questions. We like random it's something questions. that you said that I was interested about because I've I've 
been thinking about it. Was it easy for you guys to get your wives to take your last name? Was that a conversation? It was a conversation. For sure. Yeah, it was a conversation. Um, not Because not, you, both of your wives do have your yes. last name. It was assumed because yeah. I'm a man. Riley, have you guys? are you guys talking about that? Yeah, yeah. She'll, she's taking my last she's name. She's taking your last yeah. name. So that, that wasn't like a... Was that necessary for you guys? Was yeah, that a... I think so. I'm a little old school when it comes to I that. said to her, I said, listen, whatever you want to do. And uh, she was like... You know, I'd, I'd like to take your last name. I think that's important yeah. to the marriage and everything. And plus yeah. the name Amanda Makuga, is, it has it rolls off the tongue. It wasn't an argument. It just is a discussion. Yeah. And, you know, it's still, you know, it's one of those things where she'll still, she'll still talk about it, the, sure. the, having the last name and everything, too. And because her father had two daughters. I'm sure the same thing will happen for me down the line, too. I have two daughters. It's like my last name is not carrying on through, right. a, through, a, through a boy. So that's one of the things probably that she was talking about, concerned about. But... You know, it is what it is. Does she not have siblings? She has. A, she has a sister. Oh, oh, oh. got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Brett, you too. Yeah, it was. I don't remember it even being a discussion. Right. It's just not yeah. an issue. Uh, Some women are, 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 and I think that in the in our profession, it's there's more of a conversation. Yeah. yeah. Because you you know you def, like again, down the line, if you and Ben decide that that that's that's the thing. So this is my thing. Yeah. Um, I, a lot of people don't know this, and I hope he's not upset with me for saying this. Yeah. But Ben's last name is not Bateman. Right. Um, that's not his given last name. That's a uh, his stage name. I guess. Yeah. But he, he before he decided what he was going into, he he changed his name. That was like when he was a kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that is not his family name. So we've talked about it before. We're like. It, it doesn't mean anything to anybody but him. So taking that last name, I think, would be kind of weird. Right. But then taking is, his... Did he legally change it? He is going to. He's going to. Well, going that's a different to. And, scenario. And then um, he was talking about maybe having his family name, but why would I take a different name than he has? <laughs> it's right. it's so tough. That's weird. It's tough with you also because you've built your brand off of, of Roxy, Roxy Stryer. Stryer. I mean, you look at... So look at like... So Jen Sturger, right? Yeah. So who, same thing. I think sometimes she goes by Jen Decker mm-hmm. and sometimes... But... It, but Again, I don't know the whole situation with the two, but it's when you have built a brand and you are a public figure, it's tough to change yeah. your name. Mm-hmm. So that's a di- that's a different scenario. I, I mean, think. I've done, I've officiated nine weddings, and two of them, they would be like, uh, just so you know, when you announce us, be like, I now pronounce you, man and wife, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Eric, so and so, and their and the last name. I don't say like Mister and Mrs. Oh, okay. whatever, okay. which is. More difficult because there's a lot of words. Yeah, I, and I also think family. <laughs> yes. I just think, that's the real. Life. I knew yeah. we were gonna have kids. I just think, again, maybe it's just old school. I just think it's it's easier for the the Harlow family. One hundred percent. Yeah, you know totally. I mean? But that's the thing we've talked about again. And who knows if Ben and I make it there? We'll see. Hopefully, but it, if we have kids and their last names Bateman, but that's not bringing on a family name. It's almost like, and I I'm not this. I'm not this person, but it would almost make more sense for them to have my last name, right? Because that mean it has meaning. I understand. To it. I mean, that's that's a that's a very different situation. It's we- yeah, yeah, it's, we- it's a I, weird one. I hear you on that one. I understand it. I can, and I'm sure that he's probably understanding on that one yeah, too. Yeah, and obviously it's way too like. Right. Uh, let's see if we make it to tomorrow. But right. it, it's this, something we thought about. I'm before. glad you brought this up though, because so I think, and I'm going to find out during the break. If you guys have been listening to since episode one uh, of the show, if you listened to the first episode we ever did, on that episode we had my childhood friend Samantha call mm-hmm. in, which who everybody really she's loves. She's great. Yeah. She's great. I I think that eleven thirty she's going to call in because she's been married nice. for a long time. Uh-huh. I want her to give some advice to Roxy and the rest of us too, the two. But I think that'd be very interesting to have Samantha call in, give some advice, any questions that we have because I could see her and Roxy just literally talking for half an hour and us just being fascinated She's by so the conversation. Sweet. She really is, and so I want to I want to hear that. I'm going to check in with her after the break to see if she's available. Um, let's get into some news, though. Let's get, let's let's talk. There's some s- stuff that hit the internet. Some things going Big on. Stuff. What's happening? What's, what do you got? Uh, this is I, I can't figure out if I'm really excited for this or not. Breaking Bad movie in the works. Whoa, yeah, that's weird. Okay, it's really weird because when does it land? What info do we have? They're on already um, they're gearing up to shoot in November through okay. February. Is it weird? It's a two-hour movie in Albuquerque. They're going back on AMC. To, on AMC, but there's no November word yet. is now. Uh, yeah, end of sorry, end of November. Okay. They're getting ready. They've so they've been they've been in the works for, they, for a while. They, it's been in the works. It's two hours. Vince Gilligan did write it. Who's in it? Do uh, we know? We do not know. We do not know where it's landing. Is it going to be a prequel? Is it going to be a sequel? How? It's it, it's so. I'm excited. Is it during? I don't know. I might yeah. have some news. What do you got? What do you got? Oh. What do you got? Hey, guess. Uh, it's rumored that it's going to be following Jesse's character, and it's going to be a sequel. 
There it is. That's what I wanted. Boom. Face. That's Burn. what I wanted. I, so no, no Walter at all. That's tough. I mean, that's tough. Jesse. You well, so I, he, I've I've been saying it on TV it. talk. A few, I've said it on TV talk a few times. Had they sold Better Call Saul as a Breaking Bad sequel instead of a Saul Goodman spinoff yeah. prequel? It, I, what did I say? Did I say sequel? Spin-off. Spin-off. Sequel. Sequel, sequel print off. Sorry. Had they call it, had, they, had they said it was a Breaking Bad prequel yeah. instead of a Saul Goodman spinoff? I think that show would be just as big as Breaking Bad right now because it's awesome and there is yeah. a, still pretty big, pretty though, much. Right? A, I mean, it's well liked by the fans, now. but yeah. it's not Breaking yeah. Bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but it's very popular for those who watch it. For yeah. those that watch yeah. it, I mean, it gets nominated all the time yeah. for yeah, everything. Yeah. Uh, had that's they, what matters. Had they called it a prequel, I'm telling you, it'd be like twice as popular. What did uh, they call it? it? They called it a sp- the Saul spin-off. Goodman spinoff. Oh. But for the most part, since like the beginning of season two, it has been a lead up to Breaking what Bad. we see in Breaking Bad. Yeah. Because yeah. because Gus Fring has been in it since last season. Yeah, see, I'm, I want to go back. I watched like the first three episodes and I liked them. Yeah. I just wasn't as caught up the way I was in Breaking Bad. But I think Correct. I can go back. This news of the Breaking Bad movie is the same thing we're talking. It's just confusing. It's, it's very similar to what we're talking about with, with Gladiator, right? Yeah. Now, I like Jesse. I mean, I, I, I do. But the question is. Do we want to see? Do we want to see him? You know, without Walter White at all? Or will there be flashbacks? You think maybe? I mean, maybe. I think there could be flashbacks or dream uh, type sequences. Just for this, Paul looks so much older now than he looked. But mean, if it's they a sequel, pick it up. then it's fine. Yeah, but you're talking about flashbacks. Well, no, but if they had like something, maybe even like like um, like visions or something, you know, where Walter's Just talking Walt, yeah. to him or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but if he was such a whiny character by the end of that show. It's like, what is he? Which one, uh, Jesse, Jesse? Like, what is he? Is he going into an office job? I mean, what yeah. is? What, no. what, what is? I want to see that. I, I'm telling you, I love the character of Jesse Pinkman. Of course, I love Walter White. I would want him to be in it, but that's kind of impossible, and it, it does bring the excitement level down. But I was very, very interested at, at the finale with Jesse. I was what like, "What was his road going to be? What? Yeah, ah, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is his road? It's the truth. Um, what about this other lunatic inside of the Better Call Saul universe? The the actor. Do you hear this? this uh-uh. So there's an actor in Better Better Call Saul who admitted he. So he was. You probably know the guy. He's got one arm. One arm. So he's got one arm, and he's uh, he's in. He's an actor in Better Call Saul. It was revealed that the guy cut his own arm off. Said Whoa. that said that he was in a uh, said he was it happened in the military, but revealed that he cut it off to get more roles as an actor. Bring this story up. Um, Ryan wow. Satin showed it to me. It's crazy. Like better, just put better call Saul actor. So that sh- works. Cuts, <laughs> <laughs> cuts cuts off his arm. Um, actor actor Todd. See you later. Actor Todd Lorette, better call Saul actor, said he cut off his own Never arm, lied about being a vet. Todd, so he's not a vet, or it no, didn't happen no, he wasn't. during the actor war? Actor Todd Lorette, who played Skell on Better Call Saul, is coming clean after years of pretending to be a wounded veteran who lost his arm overseas. Jeez. He said he actually cut off his own arm and, and cauterized his arm himself. He said that the injury made him more appealing to casting agents. The film industry obviously took a different angle, that I was different, and so they liked that, the actor told K- KOB for in New Mexico. Le Tourette said he is bipolar and was off his meds when he cut off his arm 17 years ago. I severed my hand with a skill saw, he, he explained. Oh my the state God. of my mind was a, was a psychotic episode. After his episode, La Tourette was cast in the film The Men Who Stare at Goats and TV show Better Call Saul, telling people he was an injured vet. Now he said he is finding it hard to face his own lies. No shit. I was dishonorable, La Tourette told KO before. I am killing my career by doing this. If anyone thinks this was for personal edification, that's not the case. And then he, t- he said his story was to help others who are struggling with mental illness. The power is in your hands to take your medication in the morning or at night, he said. So, th- so morning that- or night, well, yeah. whenever. So that or th- all the time when the doctor says to take it. Right. Uh, that this discourse of my life does not need to be necessarily be yours because it happens quick. It happens quick. That's nuts. Yeah, dude. I mean, crazy town. I have. I feel very torn. I feel very torn. Okay. On yes. Well, are you going to start you, going on the side? Cut off your own with, arm? With, with, with fireworks hammer too? It's like, did you get hungry? Cops, why are you torn? Well, I mean, the guy's bipolar. He's yeah. mentally ill. Yeah. I have family that are bipolar, and you know, it's like, it's a real thing. And you know, yeah, what he did is fucked up. I also have family that's in the military, so yeah, you know, same and same. Th- you don't want to disgrace people that have served this country, but at the same time, you know, the guy has gone through some stuff, and you know. Take your meds. 
Yeah. Stake your meds. That's that's absolutely true. Absolutely correct. And I think that there's nothing to be said. Mental illness is mental illness, and and yeah. you're right. I mean, I I have people in my family who have suffered from it, but it's a fucking crazy story. I yeah. I mean, I can't believe that nobody. I mean, 17 years ago, I guess pre-social media and whatnot, you can get away with this. But I can't believe I that you're not going... a big enough character. But I'm, I'm just saying when you're going in to see, as an actor, you get to know these casting directors. Mm -hmm. And so one day you go in and you have two arms. And literally, you go home, you chop one off, you go in, and then you say you were a war vet. The, the... Well, remember, think, think about the time it took to recover from it. You know, so you like, think? yeah, probably. I mean, he probably the, because whether, whether it's a it was good on, question that makes yeah, yeah, because he probably had to recover he, the the pain that it, that it was in, like the, the like so what, like he took a year off audition and came back no probably. Arm. But the, the the other question, kind of going off to your first though, is what what does he tell the people in the hospital? Right. You know, well, like, no hospital. He cauterized it. He himself. cauterized it himself. So wait, right, he was right, auditioning right. prior to this. That's that, what he's saying. He wasn't booking, and so. Did he say that in the... Yeah, I mean, that's uh, kind of what, that's what, what he was implying, that's what Are you guess. cauterizing it, like, on a I think a you stove? definitely have to try auditioning yeah. before you cut off but, your arm, right? But that's the thing. Is, but, but you still got to go... But you still got to go ready. to the doctor and get checkups on that on that thing. Or not. So, or, but how do you not... How does it not get affected? Are you that... What is? How does he have that much He's knowledge? He's just that good. The, maybe, but you, you laugh about it, but you're right. I mean, it happens yeah. on Walking Dead all the time. It's, mm -hmm. it's true. It's true. Yeah. Um, I mean, there are ways. There, There still was the internet. You could Google. You could figure out, like... Alcohol, what to put on. It's a lot of Neosporin. I'd love to talk to that <laughs> guy. Fuck ton of Neosporin. I would love to talk to that I, guy. I mean, yeah. I, do you Didn't guys it? think moving forward this will help or hurt his career? Now that he's admitted it, mm -hmm. hurt. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, because people are going to be like, uh, yeah, that's the guy that cut off his arm. Right. I mean, look, the way we are today, too, with but this knowing kind that of. He's, knowing that he is bipolar and coming out and saying that's what happened. I think that people will applaud him, and you know, and similar to what Copster was saying, not applauding for what he did, but applauding for having the strength to come out and say it. And I think what Copster was saying is understanding and being uh, sympathetic that he suffers from from being bipolar. But you know, at the people same time, with mental you, illness get a, a pass sometimes. Yes, but you're also at the same time you're running a business, yeah. and if it's like, okay, look, it's gonna, you got, well, I forget what his name was, but uh, what was it? Lotterette. Lotterette. So Lotterette and. Johnny A just auditioned. Johnny A was pretty good. Right. Didn't cut off his own arm and is right. going to hurt the cast. Right, uh, right. I'm going to uh, take Johnny A. Right. Yeah, I mean, hiring somebody who is bipolar, as although you're not allowed to not hire somebody for that right. reason, you can claim it's for something else also. So people might just, based off of that, let alone not even the cutting off the arm. What I wish he said is that, and this sounds kind of crazy, but I wish he said he missed his arm. I wish he said, right. like, I have I did this. I regret it because, yes, I claim to be a war vet, but also I have no fucking arm now. Right. I was reaching for orange juice, and I said, damn it. The, <laughs> like, seriously, though, because I think that that would, like, who's the real who's the real loser in this situation? The arm? He, yeah. he is. Right. He has no, he, <laughs> lo arm. he lost his fucking arm. Right. Yeah. Like, that's what his, that's what his mental illness did. He has no fucking arm. Right, right. And that's it's crazy. Yeah. You know that is punishment. I know. Well, anyway, that we went down that road. I'm glad. I mean, glad that we were able to uh, to Wait, go down. I can't there. believe I didn't see this. Ryan we're Satin the two told me about TV Satin. people I know, Makuga, and, and I didn't even know. Yeah, this still doesn't pop up on I, my radar. He's not a big enough character that I, it Which, would pop up on my radar. That's, that's, Was he on Sons of the Anarchy as well? I don't know. He, he might have been. He might have been. But it, and either way, it's a, it's an incredible, incredibly crazy story. And and, um, it, and it fucking worked. It, it worked. Yeah. It I worked. mean, we have, there are people we know that have lied about certain things with military and, or, you know, like 9 11 kind of stuff. Yeah, and but you can, there's a difference between lying about it, like I was there, and chopping off your arm. Right. I mean, yeah, that, you're yeah. going to a yeah. new extreme. Yeah, that's right. like, I'm not lying. Well, right. Who the fuck questions somebody with no you're arm? Not, you're not Agreed. faking it yeah. and saying, oh, I have no arm. And, I'm just kidding. I got yeah, one. Yeah, you know, yeah, really, yeah. You really, you really did lost it. his arm. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, let's move on. Riley, what's next? Uh, all right. Uh, uh, I want to get your. It's something that's been reported, but uh, Collider actually talked to uh, David Hyben, who is uh, the producer of all the Harry Potter movies, yes. and he's producing the Willy Wonka movie, and he confirms it is, in fact, a prequel. We're going to learn all about how Willy got his Willy factory. got his factory. So no Charlie. No Charlie. Uh, probably <laughs> there's rumors about him finding the Oompa Loompas. I was going to say, yeah, he's got to go uh, to beat the horn snoggles. Yeah. This is the thing that could be really cool, very clever, very funny. Yeah. Um, could be great, a nice fantasy movie, or it can be an absolute 
misfire depending on who you cast because the Michael Jackson Johnny Depp version was awful. Oh my well, god. Well, we do know three people that were on a short that. list that Snyder The movie pulled. the first 15 minutes of the movie was great. Yeah. I remember seeing that Tim Burton version the first 15 minutes because I was I was skeptical about it and I saw a screening of it. And I went in and I'm like this movie's great. Mm -hmm. And then Johnny Depp was playing Michael Jackson and yeah. not Willy Wonka. I I don't agree. He's had he's had conversations to where that it, he took inspiration from. No, I'm saying sure. I don't agree that the fifteen first fifteen minutes and then he didn't do a good job. Oh, I, I it's think not that he didn't do a good job. It's that the version. Are you vouching for that movie? Yeah. Okay. The yeah, it's the like version. It. That's that's cool. Uh, it's just a version of Thanks, what man. he was doing. I hated it. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it was creepy. I thought it was weirdo stuff, and it didn't it didn't work. It was the, it was. The, but everything. did most people not like that movie? Yeah. I guess I wasn't. What year did that come out? Two thousand four. So that was prior. I guess that's prior to me being on the scene. So I didn't. I. It's so funny. You know when you don't know other people don't like a movie because yeah. you weren't a critic at the time. Not that I'm a fucking critic now, but you yeah. weren't in the scene. I, yeah. I, I didn't know people didn't like that movie. It's okay. I mean, so yeah, I like there it. are, there it's are, not as good as the fucking original. No, there, obviously. there are a lot of people who definitely like it. I yeah, think I like Tim Burton it. fans dig it too. It's I, got an eighty-two percent. Does it really? Yeah. yeah. I was it's just going to look that up. Are you but again, kidding me? That, I that. always go back to Indiana Jones, though. <laughs> yeah, I always go back to Indiana Jones. Um, but the thing uh, is, the, that it. that movie. Uh, I just it, love the first one so yeah, so too, much me too, me that too. I couldn't get through that and there one. Was the yeah. one scene that I feel like is so di you can just tell how the distinction between the two is um, when they're going down uh, the river or whatever, and it's like we're never oh, no, no, no. Right, right. whatever it is. That's like the the always in my mind. I'm like, that's why this is so much better because the eeriness of it right. all was mm -hmm. so different. I want to berries. But I, like berries. I am curious to who they're going to get to play them because if they who get would you what kind of type would you want? I, I don't I don't know. Do you know the short list? No, tell me the short yeah. list. Donald Glover, Ryan Gosling, and Ezra Miller. That was uh, what Snyder. Give, give me Glover or Gosling. Give me Glover. If we do, Ezra, if we do, Ezra, give me Glover. Yeah, Glover or <laughs> Gosling. I'd love to see Glover as well. Either yeah. one, Glover or I, Gosling. I uh, Ezra Miller. It gets into that same. I think the same through. I love Ezra Miller as an actor. I, I think can't he's great. Picture Gosling in that role at all. I see. I could. I could. What would you guys think about? Uh, and not just for the sake, but I'm just curious if they cast a woman. I think it's a different movie, but I think that. I like. I mean, I I kind of depends. Could still be Charlie. Wilhelmina Wonka. Yeah, it could still be Charlie. Mm -hmm. I got a cousin named Charlie. She's great. Wilhelmina Wonka. But wait, there's no Charlie. There's no Charlie. Yeah. It. Oh damn it! They already <laughs> really? touched on the Willa. prequel aspect of his backstory in, in the, the new Tim one, Burton and film. it was just yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, he didn't get candy. I think you're yeah, gonna but get that was, a, that was Tim Burton's version. Tim Burton. Yeah. Every Tim Burton movie always has like somebody had something fucked up happen. I don't think anybody wants and... to see. I'm glad how, I think old. the cool part about Willy Wonka is Tim was 58 when he that shot. part of his life. Wait, say again, the, the, I think the cool part about Willy Wonka is the part of his life that's. What we see, in it's mysterious. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Place, but I don't yeah. think seeing the backstory, it's it's not you know. Yeah, because you're you're the audience is Charlie. You're you're going, oh my god, I can right. change my life by going in here, a magical world of wonderment, all this kind of stuff. If you're focusing on Willie, yeah, who's the audience? Because this guy's a weirdo. Right. And he's yeah. going to be running around finding new balloons. I think that or he's just, just getting picked on in school or something. It's just. Right. It's, there's I no... think that they're just making the movie saying that you have to have seen the original in order to to get this movie here. It's, uh, sorry to be this person, but. I'm just stuck on this because if, if it's a prequel to the actual, it's a prequel to the original movie. Prequel yes. to the original. It's a prequel to the original. Don't we need to find somebody who looks like Wilder? Uh, nah. I mean, not necessarily. I what think was the movie loose, that we just did? Loose interpretation of the word prequel. prequel? It's another story. They're going to go into his backstory. Yeah. I think you can cast whoever. That's I mean, why I love Glover. Look at what they did. The first Slugworth Oz, War. Oz, right? For the James Franco version, right? Uh, what they did there, too. I mean, they. They kind of combined it into. I guess it was more. It wasn't really it based was off the movie, cool. was. But was yeah. it based off the movie? or Was it based off the books? I always forget. Uh, huh. A little bit of both. I forget. I want to say. I, I love forget. Glover too, but I, I don't see him there, and I don't see Gosling there. I don't think we've said a name yet that works. I think yeah. Glover and Gosling could work well. For they both they both can hit that kind of bizarre because that's that, that's what Gene Wilder did so well. He he hit that kind of bizarre, um, but charming sort of bizarre. Charming bizarre. What have we seen either of them bizarre do? Um, I mean Atlanta. Glo yeah, Glover's that the, is Glover's the least bizarre role I've ever seen. Did, yeah. did did you see when he showed up as the white man in that thing? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not just That's a matter. Bizarre. It's not just a matter of stuff that they've done before. It's a matter of like with their comedic timing and if they could do and the stuff that you looked at what Gosling has done on say Saturday Night Live and things that he's I don't done too. Think so. He's got comedic timing for sure. And yeah, Gosling definitely. Or, yeah, he does. Gosling, Gosling, Gosling and Gosling. Gosling. Both of them. Both of them comedic timing. And I think that Ezra Miller has comedic timing also. I just think that he his character 
and maybe I'm wrong. I just think it'll stray more into the weird, and I don't really want to see another weird Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. I see Ezra Miller so much more. He's yeah, uh, yeah, so. yeah I see it. I, yeah. I, I yeah. can see him doing it. Sure. And I and he is my Ezra not sing? my Barry Allen. I don't think you is need him music? to. I would imagine there's probably music. I right? don't know. It hasn't really been confirmed one way yeah. or the other. I, I, don't I feel Johnny like we're going to be getting more of a. Oz, great and powerful oh, kind yeah, of does. feel. Maybe a little bit action if he goes to some, the rumor being some island where the Oompa Loompas are yeah. and has to fight things, you know? You guys want a fun, crazy fact about the Tim Burton one? Sure. Yeah. Uh, the, the second person, if Johnny Depp was unavailable, do you guys want to guess who they had in mind? Robin Williams. Oh, that would have been great, but that no. That would have been amazing. Uh, Dwayne Crudup. Johnson. Oh. Dwayne Johnson? Back yeah. Back in 2004? Yeah, isn't that weird? Mm. Was it 2004 or 2005? Uh, it came out in 2005. That would have changed uh, his entire career. Would have been a very different movie. That was, yeah. was that before that the Scorpion work. came? That I don't doesn't think, work at all. I don't think Scorpion. The Rock was... See, here's the thing that... You from, don't smell what he's cooking? Not at that time. Okay. The thing with The Rock is that why he's so talented and why he's become as big as he is is because his work ethic in wrestling mimics his work ethic in life, right? Oh, yeah. He would work as hard as possible, travel all the time, and he was oh, and he said it. He was a student of, of the game of acting because he didn't know it yet. And at that time, he was still fresh into it. He was doing action movies too. I don't think he would have been able to pull off that character yet. Today, maybe maybe he could have. Maybe he can. He's his abilities have gotten. Well, he's so too much. old for the prequel. Yeah, 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 for the prequel. But I mean, but I mean that type of character. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. If yeah. Eddie Redmayne wasn't already playing Willy Wonka in Fantastic he, Beasts, I know he'd probably he would, pretty he would good. be you're, great. You're saying if he wasn't playing, uh, what? He, he's playing Wonka yeah. in Fantastic Beasts. Like he, he is, he acts. He's like a we um, I'm Eddie Redmayne, and I've got animals in my pocket. He's not as crazy though. No. I think he yeah. would be great. But, he, he, but yeah, he, he would be good. Only thing yeah. that makes me nervous about that is Jupiter ascending. Yeah, he was terrible. What about uh? What's his name? My boy that I keep bringing up for every single thing. Matt that, Bomer. No, 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 no. Brett Sheridan. That, no, we just saw. Brett Sheridan would be good. He, really he was a beautiful yeah. boy. Timothy Chalamet. Oh, uh, yeah. The Chalamet I'll cut off continues. my arm to do it. <laughs> I don't know. Same thing. I don't know. I don't know his comedic senses yet. Not sure. Um, anyway, so um, what else? Got anything else? I. You know who would be good as Willy Wonka? Jake, Jake Johnson. Davidson. Oh, Jake, Jake Johnson. Johnson's Jake Johnson's great. Older yeah. though, but still yeah. would be good. Yeah, I like yeah, the Jake yeah. Johnson call. All right, what else? Uh, last news piece: Once Upon a Deadpool is the official title for the PG-13 re-release of Deadpool, which is going to be all Deadpool two footage with new footage, which is a framing device. Deadpool reading to Fred Savage, a la the Princess. Bride. <laughs> I got to tell you, I hate this. I don't think yeah. I want to see it. I don't. So here's, hate what, it. here's what I want to ask. So a lot of people are saying, I "Oh, really here comes the it. Disney deal." And they're they're using this as a as a yeah, way, but I don't, have anything to do with it. I don't think I so think either. They're I gauging think... popularity into. I I think that they're doing this to see does this work. Yeah. I'm wondering know. this. Can they? Is it like a Christmas all... story? Like no. is it no, like, like a it's, holiday? It's literally Deadpool so. Too? It's like it's no. Deadpool it's like Princess, Princess, Princess Bride. Bride. I don't understand when that. they're laying in bed. Yeah, he's been reading them the story the whole time. Yeah, PG thirteen rating. Yeah, PG thirteen. So it's the same movie, just less swearing. Yes. Yeah, they're just kind of clean it up. Probably less fat. But see, this is what I'm wondering because it could work. What is that? What? It could work um, to keep some of the humor. I mean, it doesn't work for Deadpool in general, for me at least. But like, he bleeps out every like, like right. add the bleeps to give that kind of that could get funny, real tired, and it could get real. Yeah, I'm that's bored with I'm it already. And I, I, I just wonder who is this for? That's what I'm saying. What age? What, what age <laughs> yeah. is this for? You know now? what? That's a good question because I think that's probably one of the things that they face by making it rated R. Because Deadpool, when you see the posters, right, kids. My daughter knows who Deadpool is. She's not going to see the movie for a long time, but she knows who he is. She sees it, and she's like, one day I want to see it, and it's a like, long time. Yeah. So there are other kids that are saying that, too. There are 13-year-olds, 14-year-olds that maybe they're finding a way to see it, maybe they're not. So now the studio's going, well, well, this is a superhero. We don't want to make sure our audience can't see it, so let's try to do it this way. I just hate it. But mm. I understand it, but I hate it. Here's I think all the 14-year-olds figured it out. It, you yeah. would think. I snuck into R-rated movies when I was 12. You just buy yeah. the ticket for the crappy one, and you go to the R. Or now it, yeah. it's out now. Right? Here's, it's, yeah. on it's on DVD. Yeah, but that's, this is for the 11-year-olds. <laughs> I mean, no, that's. I mean, it's not like PG-13. It's like, oh, I'm 13 now. I can go. Right. You know? right. Yeah, so you're saying R people. Yeah, the 13s are watching the R's somehow. This is for the younger, the 11-year-olds. Right, right. So are right. you going to let your son, who's 11, go see it? I, you know, he, it I depends think, on what it is, right, yeah, how it comes out. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't really have an interest to see anything yeah. that's above his, you know, Pay he's grade. always been Do you have to good. see the movies first before you show them to your kids? Um, well, here's the thing that I've had trouble with is old movies that I didn't realize were 
um, bad, you uh, know, like a, like short circuit. I'm like, this is gonna be great. I'm like, oh shit, oh this is not. Oh okay. So what Indiana happened to short circuit? Temple of Doom. I forget. Uh, there's there's cussing in it. There's oh, some okay. pretty. I mean, and it's yeah. pretty pretty racist. Do you not yeah. do you not cuss around your kids? <laughs> um, I no, I cuss all the time, but they they just know not to say it. But I, I more of the eight year old, I guess, is the issue mm. with that yeah. one. Um, but yeah, I thought it, uh, Gremlins is pretty pretty oh, rough yeah. and and yeah. scary First and one. dirty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's you know, Second I forget for movies. I you know, I don't remember because I saw them when they came out. Um, right. Yeah. So that's the thing. Yeah, th this is why it happened. Uh, Fox was really pushing for the PG thirteen from day one, but all the filmmakers, right. including Ryan Reynolds, said, "Nope, nope, it's our, it's our." Right. They, they related, but he's like, "I'll give you this one two for two things. Every dollar made for this goes to fuck cancer." So, okay. Which is very All right. cool. All right. And uh, All right. the other thing he uh, uh, Reynolds says mm. uh, is, I wanted to kidnap Fred Savage. Well, yeah. You know, now, when you fun. lead, when you lead so, with that, it's for charity. Yeah. Don't, now, now we feel like shit. No, yeah. I don't feel like shit because no, I didn't I know think about it's for it. Both. But now I that mean, I know, now I understand why they're doing it. It's like, okay, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna tape, we're gonna record all these scenes of Fred Savage. It's gonna be funny. And if you, and if you come check it out, we're gonna donate money yeah. to help to so fight they, cancer. Now, now, now I'm on board for it because I understand it. What? Do you think they got paid for it? Um, I mean, I'm sure it's part of the deal in some yeah, way or another. Be, yeah, because right? you're filming stuff and you got a yeah. higher crew. You think that Gosling, um, that Reynolds. Reynolds got paid for it and didn't donate uh, that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. And the question: How much did he take less? Maybe yeah. than he was supposed to. Maybe you something along those lines. Yeah. Yeah, because maybe it was part of the, it was part of the a, deal. Like a very small crew. Like they 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 did this in like a day. Yeah. So, huh. so when you yeah, because they're just yeah. plugging all in right. all these so Fred I, Savage. I, I get it. Yeah. I get it now because, but this they they should be leading with that on yeah. everything. I haven't yeah. seen that once. It should mm -hmm. be re-released to help fight cancer. That, yeah. that should be the headlines. Everything everywhere. is just. PG it should be 13. Deadpool fucks cancer is <laughs> but, the headline. But something right. like and that. Then, but no. But yeah. But it's like Deadpool versus cancer. Yeah. And then that way you know. Okay. Well, that's well. That's why they're doing this. It's yeah. like to me. Then I'm gonna go. Okay. You know what? I'll I'll go and see this now if I know that's gonna help. That's what it's helping for. Now I'm interested. Now that it's not just you're not just pulling money out of it to just put out another edition of this because we didn't get our PG-13 version last time. So I'm, I'm more on board if that is indeed the case. Why they're doing agreed. It. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go to break actually, and I did get a message, from Samantha. She can't join us today, uh, unfortunately. Okay. So we're gonna have to get her maybe another next week. Another time. Another time. Maybe we'll do the tweets and uh, some phone calls at the end of the show. But when we get back, we are gonna talk. There's something going on with some aliens. <laughs> is, is it uh, are, are alien ships actually on Earth? I ain't messing around. We're going to talk about it. And Frank, the editor, will be here to help us, too. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council, what is it? It's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack, that's right, the pit boss himself, we have a guest on, and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, games, and then we take questions from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope it is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey everyone, Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking at my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still pretty good, above 50%. You can watch it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 4 p.m. Los Angeles time is when we do it. It's live, so you can participate in the live chat room. Go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming, because it's all the latest movie news of the day. Who did what at the box office? What horrible red box movies Bruce Willis signed on to? The DC, the Marvel, the Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings. Are they making new? I think they're, they're, it's a TV show, and we still might talk about it anyway, because we love movies around here. It's myself and an extra 
expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show. And then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us. So subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. Hi there. I see that you're enjoying Collider Live. After this show, why not check out Collider Games, where we play, well, games. We review games. We talk about things, anything that's going on in the gaming world, our opinions, news, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. If you like it, stick around and subscribe. Hey everyone, John Roca here, one of the hosts for Collider Sports Time. That's our new show there on the Collider Sports Network. It's our flagship show, just like Collider Movie Talk. We get on, talk about a bunch of sports issues of the day and what is burning up social media, what topics are burning up social media. That's what we do on Collider Sports Time. I'm joined by my top 10 co-host, Matt Nost. Me and him, we welcome a bevy of guests every week to talk about NFL the Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL, and the NBA, which is starting up soon. We're going to talk about that. We also get into UFC stuff, college football, all the stuff that's happening in the world of sports. We're going to cover it on Collider Sports Time. And we're going to take the time to break it all down and give our opinions and our unique takes and unfiltered thoughts on what we think about the sports news of the day. So don't forget to join us every week on Monday for the Collider Sports Time show on the Collider Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe on the Collider Sports Network on YouTube and on the Collider Sports Podcast feed. We're going to bring you all kinds of stuff. Hope to hear from you soon. Hey, everyone. I'm Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week, I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun. It is infectious. It is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows. And it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Dates himself. Check it out every Friday at 10 a.m. AM Pacific only on Collider Video. The aliens are coming. They're going to take here. over the whole world. They're here, and one of them sitting in a teal, whatever blue shirt in the back there is Brett Sheridan. Collider Live, <laughs> after the break, here we go. Um, we're going to talk about these aliens in just a little bit. Uh, a couple things I wanted to bring up here. Look at that thing of beauty. So, f to let everybody know, we've been working on this for a while. The yeah. movie trivia schmodown. I don't see enough Makuga. Oh, there, there it is. is. The movie trivia schmodown website is live. It is triviasd.com. If you're watching live, I ask you to go on there, open up another tab, type in movie, uh, movie, triviasd.com, triviasd.com. Go on over there, do it. I know some of you are patrons, some of you aren't. And if you aren't and you can't, some of you say, you know, I can't afford to do it. I can't afford to be a patron. Well, then go on over to the TriviaSD.com. Check out everything that's going on over there. You can sign up for newsletters and things, but we have news. We have the, the latest. You can see the schedule, uh, rankings, champions. All the stuff is up there, and it's continuously being worked on more and more and more. Riley got the thing started, but you got to give a lot of credit here to the former movie trivia showdown champion of the world, William the Beast Bibiani, who is the managing editor of the site. He has been... Um, I mean, I can't tell you how impressed I've been with Bibiani within 
days of, of this. I knew that he was the right guy for the job. And is I, he just like a full time freelancer with other people? Like, is he, that what he does? He what does is. he do? He's a, he's a freelancer. He writes for Crave, and he's oh, okay. just, you know he's a, he's a very uh, he's a renowned critic, and gotcha. he is. But I knew it because he's very he's very invested in this league. He's very invested. He's always pitching me ideas. He's always like these things, and. This was like the perfect marriage. Yeah. When I was talking to Riley about it, I was like, I think Bibiani is the guy to really run this thing. Perfect. And and, and I, I couldn't have been more right, not to my own horn here, but the fact that what he is what he has done already with the writers, what he has done with article pitches and things he wants to do, for example, just scroll down just a little bit, guys. So we're right Some there, there's one of the articles. articles right now. The ultimate Schmodown singles breakdown, who will win? The upcoming tournament that's happening, they really kind of go over it. Uh, is John the Outlaw Roca the Schmodown goat, the greatest of all time? Uh, what happened? Just, did it just shut down? No, he went to a tab. No, I, to a tab. I clicked on it. Yeah. He clicked on a yeah. tab. So, uh, oh, there it is. So the the tabs are open. You can you can go there. You go. So the ultimate Schmodown singles breakdown. Who will win? And it gives you. This was written by Jack Mayer, and it is it just kind of chronicles so who's everything. Who's writing these? We have a bunch of different writers. We have well, we have Frank Janish for sure, the stat man himself, who's gonna if you want and, and it's constantly being updated. So if you want to know who are the champions were, you want to know their records, all What's that stuff's gonna ben? be in there. It's talk about uh, a Ben. It says talk about a player whose record doesn't accurately reflect his ability. Ben Bateman is considered by most uh, to be the stronger member of Team Action, he, and he has so far been dominant in teams with his anarchy partner, Mark Riley. His singles record is 2-3, and three, though. So the question of the tournament for him is whether he can prove he doesn't need a teammate in the game. If he goes far in the tournament, I think we'll definitely see more of his singles career next season, but if he gets knocked out early, he might have better luck with either Team Action or Who's the Boss. Mm. So good Seems like a guy that would take his wife's last name. <laughs> <laughs> That's in there, too. But, uh, but anyway... It, there's there's so much it just pr it chronicles all of it and that's not what I was saying. I'm Beast. doing a, I'm doing a weekly editorial about um, why I'm the greatest player in the history of the Schmodown. Not in actual points or matches played, but in just history, greatest ever. Mates, matches played, you're actually up there. Yeah. And points, you're up there, too. Uh, we're gonna, but, uh, really? yeah, I like the, the thing he said in the Ben Bateman thing was like, his record doesn't really reflect his talent. It's like, Makuga's record clearly reflects I his think, talent. Well, let's go to, go to Makuga. There you go. So, Makuga, I guarantee that Christian Mark or whoever is calling his first match will say something along the lines of, if the Makuga magic comes out. Well, I'm going to say it, too, because it's true. The Makuga magic has seemingly be, uh, has been coming out to play a lot this season. He beat Nick Scarpino and has had two wins with the Wild Berries. Wild Berries! But he also lost to Stacey Howard and the Evil Geniuses. Makuga is currently eight. Stacey and Howard's legit. Yeah, Makuga is currently eight and nine. So following the mathematical Makuga formula, he should win at least one match in order to maintain his so-so record. Yeah, I think Makuga probably has the least of least a stake in this tournament because his motto seems to be drink and maybe answer some questions. Yeah, but even <laughs> if if he only if he only lasts one round in the tournament, he's going to be supremely entertaining to watch. So it's a good breakdown. So that's that, the different writers. Like well done. There's, there's a team well of writers with with that have different. There were these Schmodown blog writers for a while, right? So now instead of them just being spread out all over the place, put them in one hub. Bibiani's kind of managing them. There, some of them are good for stats. Some of them are good with the storyline stuff. Some of them are good with the sports element of it. And like, so for example, like you know. Picks, predictions, we'll be doing the fantasy stuff. It's just one hub to have everything in one place. And that's where it's, it's began and it's launched mm -hmm. right now. So please, if you're watching live, go on over, browse around, let us know uh, thoughts, um, suggestions, all that type of stuff, and, and, and get involved. Okay, so um, Love it. thank you. And you're then welcome. there was something else that I wanted to bring up. And yeah, I congrats on that, man. It's a, it's, it looks a big good. deal. Yeah, it looks awesome. good. And, and again, thank you to William Bibiani, who's just been beyond impressive. What do you got? You want this? I, I was going to tell you what you were going to bring up. It's a, oh, I know, I know, I know what I'm going to bring up. It's a um, shame he doesn't go by Bill Bibiani because Bill Billy Bibbs, Bibbs. Yeah, Bill it's not Bibbs. Bad. I bet she doesn't like Bill because he. he Bo, Bo Bibbs. Bo Bibbs. Bo Bibbs. Will, Will Bibbs. Will Bibbs. Nah. But I feel like Bo yeah. is a nickname for Will. Like, I think Bibbs it? is his nickname. I think Bo Bibbs is, is a nickname, nickname yeah. for. That's what I was calling Richard. him in Bibbs. all this. Everybody calls him what? Bibbs. <laughs> what is it? What is Bo a nickname for? Isn't it just no Bo? Idea. Not for Richard. It's not Richard. That's Dick. Bo Cephas, isn't it? Bo Cephas. So ben but Benjamin? Bi Billy Bibbs sounds like a Let gangster. Bo. Yeah, what is Bo? Bo. I'm looking him up. Yeah. Um, I do want to bring Baggins. up something real quick, though, too. So something that's been going on that we that noticed yesterday is that uh, Defy Media, who we have lots of friends over at Defy, and we have friends over at, well, Screen Junkies is no longer part of Defy. They were sold to uh, Fandom. Yeah, I got a lot of texts yesterday. Yeah, so Defy, who used to own Screen Junkies, and then they, they own Clever and Smosh, mm -hmm. they're uh, they're going out of business. 
um, they're 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 closing the doors, closing the doors, closing up shop. And in January, uh, it, it's that's it. Um, yeah, no, we got a lot of friends over there, so yeah. you know we're we're. Um, I think it's part of what happens in this business, you know. Too, you you kind of hope that it's a tough space. It is, yeah. and so one of you know our, our, one of our close friends is Sinead, who's been on the show, who's been on many of our shows, and and I, Sinead's so talented though she's going to find something she like also this is why it's so important to diversify yeah and she's in so many different shows on so many shows and in so many different outlets right. uh but it's still and i tell you people at home because people forget it's still somebody's job it's right. still somebody's livelihood and they still lost it so now is not a time for people to be pissed about losing content or tweeting at these people what they did wrong is that what's happening oh, oh. it's always what happens yeah. and People lose their jobs, right. and people forget that because you watch them on your TV or your iPad. They lo you lose your job, and Sinead right. has a family to take care of, and she and I have no idea because she's not a friend of mine. But th that's not that's sad. That's right. a Every, sad thing. And you lose your livelihood. Yeah, I mean, all, all those Smosh gamers, the Smosh, you know, that brand and Clever were are gigantic. And brands. I'm sure they're gonna find homes, sure. and it, and it will be fine. But in the meantime, it's fucking scary. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's fucking scary. Yeah. I just think, look, there's a lot of things, and we're not gonna get too deep into it. But I think Defy, in general, just handled that whole company just handled themselves so terribly. Did over you the... read the press release? No, because that's what they said. Oh, is that what they said? Yeah, it, we they, can't. We've handled this. They they they, they, they came out and said it. Oh, they, they handled they this so we, terribly. We, you know, we did this kind of is what they, they said. They did. I mean, from the obvious situation that happened we can last pull it year up. you could see they, they, they I know, took ownership I a, of it i thought i know a lot of people that have a lot of problems with the fine media well look, and there, i won't say their names and i don't there, i don't want i'm just there was know. a lot that happened man it went, yeah. it, went it it just went downhill and it, it all it blew up in their faces w last year and then um just more and more just continued to happen and they didn't handle things well and financially they they, they overspent money and and that's what happens you know so i'm still waiting for a phone call <laughs> um, uh, well, but you're not. But you're. But aren't you? I, I, I was with the five for a long time. Yeah, no, no, I, I know you were. I know you yeah. were. But you did. But you were more on the screen junkie side, weren't yeah, you? Yeah. Um, and so now I'm with fandom. Yeah. Right, you're fandom. So you're not. So you're, why would you get a phone call on it? Because fandom's not, not going out of business. Not, not on this. It was a. It was a slight joke at the fact that a lot went down, and oh, I'm still waiting for a phone call. You're still waiting for a phone call for <laughs> yeah. back then. Yeah. I understand. I'm still, I understand. I'm still, okay. Still waiting for a phone call. Yeah. Anyway, so um, it, it, this looking is like it's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple of losses at this yeah. point. This is this is more of a just a, just to say that you know we we are looking out for our friends and hoping that there's yeah. there's opportunities that come for um for all those talented people out there. The, the ladies at the fire uh, of um, clever. clever, so so great. Erin and Sinead and Jocelyn. Um, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. I mean, they're absolute dolls. They're stars. But what I will yeah. say is, that I've noticed they've brought on new people recently, which makes me think that they are just going to be fine. That clever is going to be fine because they, if they're still building, they're still growing. Their numbers are still knocking it out of the park. I think they're going to be just fine. Will they yeah. sell off? You probably sell Smosh and sell Clever off. Probably yeah, going to so, have to. Right? Yeah, that, yeah, and that's again with the article. I thought it was up there. It's not. Yeah. Sorry, there. internet's slow right now. Oh, right. No, no, no it's okay. It's okay. I just uh, otherwise it looked like I had. But who knows? I mean, something will happen too. I mean, and I'm I'm not going to be shocked at all when I hear that those ladies got a job like. That. I yeah, mean, yeah. you would have to be a moron to not want one of those two entities. They're great. But they're both huge, yeah. and in this time in this space, it's so hard to create a name as you know better than yeah. anybody, Christian. They clever and Smosh both are huge fucking names. Right. Huge names. Right. Uh, and that matters. And it's just too many employees is the thing. There were there were a lot. They helped, they hired a lot, couldn't hold up with it. Then they opened too many places. Um, they 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 went big and just missed. Yeah. And that happens. Um, and they and they well, and that's also then they handled other things terribly. Um, moving on now. Let's talk about some crazy shit, Riley. Yeah. What happened yesterday? You came running into my office. You said, we got to talk this. about this tomorrow. Yeah, and I said, we, absolutely, we do. Yeah. Uh, so there, a few months ago, or maybe, I don't know, but six months ago, uh, astronomers saw this thing, right? And it's this huge, uh, elongated, dark red object, 10 times as long as it is wide, traveling okay. at speeds of 196,000 miles per hour. And uh, these researchers have determined that it was a artificial origin and they call it uh i'm gonna butcher this uh um, wah, wah. Okay. it may be a fully, you call yeah um, it may be a fully operational probe sent intentionally to earth vicinity by an alien civilization 
They wrote in the paper, which has been submitted to the Astrophysical Journal Letters, and these are the, uh, I'm going to say it was the Harvard researchers. Right. And they're basically saying this thing because it did turn. Right. These are smart these are, people. I was going to say, this is smart, smart people are doing people. This yeah. isn't like, you know, Ralph Alien and... and, and, and yeah. Yeah. Hey, that, I believe that's an alien. And I yeah. know everybody's going to post the meme of that guy going, aliens. You know, it's not that guy. This is like the Harvard Research Astrophysics. Then why do they call it Mwah Mwah? The, it's, uh, that's so I'll frustrating you, right, right. how people they, uh, do that. It, uh, where was it? Give it a name I can say. Are we having problems with the internet? Yeah, yeah. the internet's yeah. off. Okay. Right. Yeah, 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 I got this uh, up. Bonkers the, the, right now. The nickname or the name is means a messenger that reached out from the distant past well, in Hawaiian. Well, there you go. Uh, you know, Hawaiian's it, a tough language. There's so many vowels. What's so wild and has to keep us all, I, that is right. true, has to keep us all somewhat humble and also remember that things can change tomorrow is that right now we are fighting each other, right? Oh, yeah. All the worse time. Than worse, worse than ever. Worse than ever. Worse than ever. It is the most polarizing time that there's ever been. If aliens fucking land tomorrow, and they come here, fighting or not. We're gonna have to come together. We that Independence we're day. humans, right. yeah, and they're fucking aliens. Yes. So that has to be some kind of conversation, which District is like, nine. I, I, I pray. <laughs> we have our president tweeting how stupid they are. Yeah. It, it will happen up. one day. I don't think it will be a day that I'm alive, but I fucking pray it is because I wait for this fucking day every single second what, of the, the day. The aliens are coming. Yes. Why? What? Are you kidding? We are so. I'm with you, Rox. We're so. Well, you want to fight them? No, no. Oh. We are I, I so proof. small. Oh, yeah. You, you self centered pieces of fucking shit. Yeah. Well, easy, 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 easy. That, that easy. think that there are what not aliens you out right there. Oh, you, oh. you look up into the fucking sky and you think, yeah, it's just us. You self centered fucks. Wait, what, what was that, Tom? Roxy, 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 Roxy. I cannot wait till aliens wait. come in whatever form they're in and say, suck my dick. I want to hear. Uh, I don't know if they're going to say that. I want to hear Makuga. I, I would hope that they're a they were, they were peace, peaceful person. <laughs> Calm down. You yeah. don't believe aliens exist. No, I, I would imagine that they probably do, but we have no proof that they do. I would like I to see some aliens. Look at this but guy. But not That's every proof. second of we every day. Exist. Well, wait, you well, sound let's, like let's you get... sound like that late night yelly person on the thing, like you're stupid if you don't think that them aliens came down. Calm down, you <laughs> fucking I, I crazy sound, person. I didn't sound like you that. sounded what just that like accent? that with that what without the accent. Oh well, what? Sound the just accent like really added a lot. Well, here, here's. I happen to agree with you that I think that the universe is too big for anyone it's to say like, too big. it doesn't exist. I'm not going to yell at anybody. <laughs> same way that I think it's very similar to the conversation that we had last week. If you don't think that aliens exist, because you Li life, because don't a, even call it aliens. Life elsewhere. Elsewhere, it's certainly possible, life. and you'd be silly but not it's to so not to think because it's so because last night we haven't been able to, to right. study it. Well, I was sitting on the couch with my wife last night, and the and we were, I started watching Black Klansman, right, which mm -hmm. I really like so far, um, and the Universal logo, <laughs> the Universal logo pops up. And I turned to my wife, I don't know, she was talking to me about Thanksgiving or something, and I was just, I was like, okay, enough, I get it, we're gonna eat turkey, it's gonna be amazing. And I turn, I turn to my wife and I go, do you realize we're floating in space right now? <laughs> like after I see the universal thing, she's like, I know, I don't wanna think about it. <laughs> and, 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 I'm, and, she's yeah. like, and, and I was like, yeah, we're floating in space. And like, she's like, I just, it, it just, it makes me crazy. I go, I'm fascinated by it. Yeah. Because of, I would love, see there's, yes. two, there's two scenarios there to where you say, I can't wait for it to happen, right? Because there's the fact there's there's the if the aliens come in and it's like we want to talk with you guys and study and 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 be together and figure out how to make like what was it let's A get like, faster what ships happens, ha what happened at the end of AI right right if that happens cool but there's also that side of they can of the Independence Day side of it to now, where why would that happen they, they Bill spend Gates all said this that time, not Bill Gates uh, time, Stephen Hawking said that that's exactly what would all happen. the technology. All the money to come see so they can kill us? First of all, why would they do that? First of all, what if we're like cattle to them because we're so stupid compared to them, right? But why would they want to come here, spend else? all that to kill us? How, because, because maybe of, they maybe look what we've done to each other to go well, off of yours. Yeah. it's for resources. That's right. That's because that's that when. So when maybe Steve, they'll take our resources. That Stephen Hawking said that if Which will if, kill there, us. if there was an alien invasion, I it would most likely be, be like, for, for resources for yeah. resources and mm -hmm. to kill us. Yeah. Um, because well, not again, to kill us for. resources. Resources. For resources, it would, can't and really blame them. For we, that. we just happen. To, we would be. We would be the Native Americans in this situation. Yeah, essentially. It's, what not, it's not a fun position no, to be no, in. No, it is not. No, at all. Uh, yeah, it, but it's, we're, it's not the Nazis to the Jews. 
is what I'm saying. Well, we don't know. I mean, we don't know. We don't know who they are. We don't know well, who they are. They're not coming at us to kill us. They probably need help. Who or know? maybe but they're how, coming. How can friendly. you say? And we don't even know what they. You're, you're talking they about are. them coming, and you like you selfish fucks. Like uh, they might find you to be the person that is a little kind of. A little intense, and they're like, eh. Well, go back, a, go back okay to Independence that. Day. <laughs> I'm okay getting killed by an alien, honestly. Yeah, Ray go go back face. to well, Independence Day, that scene in Independence Day when when all those people are like, take me. Yeah. And they're like, no, we're just going to kill you. Yeah. yeah. Boom, you're done. Um, now, there's there's so many different scenarios in general that could happen. And there's some people who think that there there's no way that aliens uh, exist. How come we've never seen them before? That argument's been there, too. Self-centered fucks. Because, the, because the, again, the thing is, too, you don't know what kind of technology is out there. You How don't come know they haven't seen us? The way time and the, way the time and space... We can't get to them. Time and space. Time it's, and space works so very, differently. Yeah, it's... It, even, exactly. The thing is, is there may be other planets out there that have the ability, have some sort of fuel source that is able to have them travel at the speed of light. Right. That is... Possible, but probably not. Not necessarily. We might never the see thing, them. The thing with that, though, is that they exist. Because of that, we don't know in time and space like how how much evolution has happened to where where, where they are. Now, we think it's probably not possible because we can't fathom that because it's going to take so many years for us to be able to do that. It'll be thousands and thousands of years before that is able or even possible here. They're still trying right. to open up black holes somewhere in the middle of fucking NASA. Right. You know. So it's like. Um, you know, we we are. I think that you just don't know. But the fact there's so many people who think what the the t the pyramids of uh, Giza were built yeah. from aliens. There are people who think that uh, Stonehenge. I don't, I don't was think aliens. any of that. I don't think. I, I don't, don't know. know if we've, Why I don't not? Know, I don't know, but yeah. I don't happen to believe that. That's fair. I'm just saying I think that they're out there, regardless of politics. Do you think Roswell happened? No. You don't think Roswell happened? See, that's the one that I think that. But uh, I don't. Just too many I, facts but, I, but I don't know. I believe that okay. stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Is it, uh, but I, I, I get swayed pretty yeah. easily. Is Frank the editor in there? Nah, he can't do it. Uh, uh, he got pulled into a meeting. He, okay. Here's what I, about I it, wonder. Yeah. It, okay, regardless of politics, what do you guys think? Aliens land tomorrow. Trump says what? You're fired. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I don't. We're gonna I mean, welcome I, the aliens. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, you can see two. You can see a couple different right, scenarios. Oh, oh, no, do you think no, he's no, thought no, about right, that? Cops, how does he feel about regular? Like, like how do you, you see how he feels about immigration in general? What, what do you think he's gonna say about an alien? Well, right. he's you the one who wants for, space force. You the, know, for a fact. Well, I, I actually, I actually, I'm kind so of on board with space force, war? but yeah. I, I 100% think he would see them as a threat and want to take them out. It, okay. I, again, I think it just depends. I mean, it's hard. It, it, it's such an impossible situation because you don't know. Be, if you look at it like Arrival, right? Mm -hmm. When Arrival happened, the movie Arrival. So it's just like this thing that is just. I, I still that movie to me is one of the most brilliant movies made it in too. the last. Me like, too. Really I love. And so I feel like it's so actually much. underrated recently. People it's, forgot about it's it quickly. So good. So good. And, I, and I, it's I understood it. Theaters. It's I believe so that that's the way that it was. Like that's the most. That's the way I, that's I a, imagine it would happen. That movie is above my pay grade. I didn't get it. it well, is brilliant. you know what Neil deGrasse Tyson has said about this is that we that aliens could have come down but that that they are a, such an advanced level that our brains can't even see, see it. them right. like That's true. they could be there in just like just different evolution, and different that's what I'm saying. Because and because we can't fathom that because it seems too sci-fi. Yeah, it seems to movies that like for us it's like that can't happen. Yeah, we that's that's my point to where it's like when I kind of claimed the other day to where I think more and more I I, I think you don't know I'm, about God. I think I'm agnostic. Yeah. I think that's more uh, than anything else. That's that's where I'm I think. With you, that's dude. where I think I'm. And it, 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 it's it's not that I don't believe in God. I just think there's so much out there that if you believe in it, it's very possible that everything you believe is true. It's very possible that everything that the guy over there thinks is very true. I'm just not going to pretend that I know because of things like this. If people can can uh, disappear and shit, if they, if they, if they, if you die and there's your and, and your light is here and you're still on, how the fuck do I know? There I don't are, know. It, it, I think about this all the time. There are planes that have maybe crashed, maybe not. We never saw, heard, figured out ever anything. Right. People disappear all of the time. Things happen. Like you're saying, I don't think that the aliens are here now, but they could be, and right. I just don't fucking know. And and that's the thing is that it's like you want to say I haven't seen this stuff; it's never been proven. So I'm gonna say that I don't know if I believe it, but I think it's ignorant to say I definitely know. It's the same way that you say. For anyone, I, I do feel yeah. I definitely know there's life outside right. of Earth. Yeah, I mean, I, well, even then, I I happen to think that it would be ignorant to say that there isn't because the because the universe is so vast, so big. You self 
center. I, I know, but the thing is still, but the, but the still is there's no there still is no concrete proof yet. <laughs> yeah, right. There's, there's just no concrete proof yet. Now the other thing is too, like what the hell happened on Mars? Billions of years ago. Yes. Yeah. What did Mars look like? Billions. Of, I'm talking about billion years before, like you know, the dinosaurs. What they was could have happening visited there? us then. That's what I'm and saying. We weren't even fucking here. Oh, the, Is that the, the plot to John Carter? I don't. No, no, no. I think it's it's later on. But it's there's something kind of going on there because I think that. I don't remember. I, I don't remember what that movie it. is. Uh, the but Taylor Carter, Kitsch one. Yeah, John Carter. With, yeah, he was on Mars. Yeah. But, yeah, no, no, we know he was die. on Mars, but I mean, but he, he but the question is like because it, it was during he was during the Civil War era, and yeah. then, but I, I don't know how much he traveled if it went past future. Right. But anyway, okay. point is, think about billion a billion years ago because they said from what they've done so far on Mars, they've found some kind of water particles yeah. and things of that yeah. nature. Billions of years ago, was it was the theme sun? Park. But what's that? Theme park. What do you mean theme park? What was it? Theme right. p- there could have been theme parks. It could have been like been a anything. mystical place. But it could have been. It could yeah, have been. It could have been, it could have been Earth, basically. Yeah. And there could have been life that was thriving. There could have been a way. Maybe who the hell knows? Maybe the, the, that there's ways that certain life started on Earth because of Mars. We don't know. You know, there's so much that is possible. Now I know that a lot of people think you know that and. And again, this is not for me or anybody in this room to say, you can say you don't believe it, but to say Adam and Eve and God, there are tons of people who believe that that is the way that the world began, and, and I can tell them. And they don't believe in evolution, you mean? But they can believe in whatever they want. What right. I'm saying, again, we don't know for sure. We just don't know. We have scientific proof that kind of leans in the way that evolution and all that do, but again, there's no concrete proof that says this is what it is. And I do I, feel like science is proof. Uh, it's it's not concrete proof all the way yet. There's, it there's, just isn't. And in this article in particular, agree. that you have two two sets of ex, uh, experts going back and forth. One saying that this could be, but they are not saying it is. Yeah. They're so wait, so going be. back to it, yeah. they're saying they're the same kinds of experts, and they're saying two different things. Uh, or is it like the people who have studied under the Matadonic way think yeah, that? Break down the report a little bit. What are they? What are they saying inside? Yeah. Yeah. So the it's the Nailed Harvard it. Smithsonian uh, Museum of Astrophysics saying, are saying what? Never heard. Of I mean, that, I was going to say that sounds very yeah. made up. I've never heard of the Smithsonian <laughs> or the Harvard. Yeah, or, yeah, the, or Harvard. the Harvard. What is this Harvard? They Both. are saying that it could be because of the way it turned. It's trajectory. Mm-hmm. They're saying that comets use solar fl- uh, flails or something like that. Flares. Where, where as it gets closer to the sun, it releases gas, so it causes it to move a little bit. But that this was moving on its own. So they're saying, and they're saying look, it could be a what ship type thing. Yes, right. they're saying probe. What you do know? you What do you think, Brett? I'm curious. I, I th- I'm with Roxy. I think they're going to come down here. They're going to go, suck my fucking dick. <laughs> I mean, that is Thank the you, most Brad. logical yeah, no, what, scenario. Is that what you think? There's got to be, there's gotta be some sort of life somewhere, whether it be plant-based yeah. or whatever. I think that maybe our minds have taken it to this weird, you know, they're all going to be aliens with big eyes and things like that. I, I, I would think that if there's somewhere like this, that the that the creations that would have evolved might be similar to us. You know, I don't think it's... I, I, I never think of it as outlandish as, like, you know, the weird tall aliens or whatever right. that we see in all the movies, but uh, there's got to be life I somewhere. I just think the galaxy is so vast, right? It's somewhere. Because there's, and that's there's, just the galaxy. Right. Uh, the universe. The yeah. universe itself. The universe is so vast that we – there's places that we just don't have the capability of even seeing, right? Yeah. So how do we know if it's infinite, right? Yeah. How do we know that somewhere there's not a sun as powerful as ours that has powered up a plant, planet just like ours and created life <laughs> – just like ours. How do we not know uh, that that's somewhere? That might be true. I, but I will is. say, and it is definitely possible and maybe even probable, but so many things had to go, like wind had to blow in certain directions for things to happen that way. Uh, like there, it, it was so specific, the way that we were created to be the way they are, we are. And our atmosphere, if you believe in evolution, what was going on in our particular Earth has so much to do with how we are shaped because of the things we had to adapt to, right? Mm-hmm. So w- why we need thumbs, why we need nostrils, right. like wh- all of those things because of where we live. So if they had the same atmosphere, the same environment, the same path, then maybe they look exactly like right. us, but more likely they look similar 
not like aliens in movies, but they look. I would think they would look similar but different. Well, there are other theories. Well, I mean, if yeah. you think about it, animals are alien to us. I mean, like all, we we have lots of different life forms yeah. on Earth. Some of the so, aquatic life yeah, is some crazy. Of the, the deep sea shit. Yeah, like, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> right? It's, it's going to be different. You Look know, at but an octopus. The octopus to me is like the most alien looking thing yes. out of anything. Yeah. What about yeah. those angler fish? And yeah. The, yeah. The and it's kind of wild. Imagine squid. if aliens came down here and on whatever their planet is, they only have that species yeah. and then they come here and they're like, what? What are all right. these fucks? Well, also, <laughs> but also, yeah. if you go back to everyone, Suck my uh, <laughs> but if you but if you go if you go back to what people like, the Limp Biscuits just playing their <laughs> welcome song. But the rumor of Stonehenge, <laughs> the towers, all this stuff that were there was thousands of years ago. There was alien oh, yeah. life type of rumors, right? Yeah. There are some people that say, what if aliens were the ones who implanted life in this place in the first place? What if, what if aliens, aliens were the ones who planted us? That to what me is that? slightly more likely than Adam and Eve. Well. Whatever it might be. Listen, I mean, t- it, back and, in and 2015. And I just lost my entire follow. Back yeah. in 2015, NASA announced its discovery of second Earth in deep space. To go into the point of what's out there. Is right. Barry Allen happening? there on a separate fucking timeline? No, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw Excuse the internet out the window. I can't get to the link to get more, but I just read the... Hello. Mm-hmm. Uh, was... I read the, uh, the, the headline, and I remember that. I remember that they found there was enough... There was like a star that was yeah. able to power up a planet. Look at this planet and go. It has similarities to Earth. It has yeah. sim- It could exist because of its uh, distance to a yeah. star that's like the sun. So maybe it could have created something similar. And would and you guys yeah. fuck an alien if they were hot? <laughs> this took a weird turn. Right? I I can't so stand the science. shape of water. <laughs> yeah, I just I don't. Well, I, if they, again, I said if they were hot. <laughs> I just I mean, don't know. I don't know enough about it. If they yeah. look kind of like us, like, do any of you guys watch Supergirl? Or have you ever seen what the aliens on Supergirl look like sometimes? No. They no, like, look like sexy little, year. they're like sexy girls, but then they've got like maybe gills on their cheeks. Oh, well, okay. I've seen like, my stepmother like as an alien, and I'd be okay Still with it. Still don't know enough about it. Yeah. Um, so you would have to know scientifically, like, I want to know. Is, yeah, is, it, is there acid in there? What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah like, I mean? what, like, does yeah. having sex with them mean that an alien's going to pop out of our chest like, like an what, alien? I don't know. How do you learn more? Somebody has to test that, right? Did you ever see, did you ever see, did you ever watch? Show yes. V, yes, oh. that's what I'm saying. I fucking loved yeah, V. So, um, it got canceled after one season. Well, that shit was stupid. Back in the old days, it's, it was it was the one of the, it we was, the 80s. It was a mini series first in the really? 80s. in the yeah. 80s. Yeah, right. Robert England. Robert England was one of the aliens. Oh, I I'm talking about the oh, yeah, Marina, reboot. Reboot. Yeah, was the Marina Baccarin. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the reboot of it. Um, it good. But you know, what reminds me though, as we're talking about this though. It it goes back to the conversation we had about first man, to where you like you would have been one of the people going, why are we spending all this money? Hundred percent. This is why we need to spend all that money. Yeah. This is why this we is, need. Now we need, I've been shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, we just need exploration though. We need we like the thing. Like, our our technology compared to what we need stinks as none far as what it, we need. None of this will matter. None of it fucking matters if we find something else. None of it matters. I, and I hate to say that because like you know yesterday I'm all get out and vote, get out and vote, right. get out and vote. Unless it doesn't fucking matter because aliens and shit. Right. Can we take that sound, please? Unless it fucking doesn't matter because of aliens and shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like let's let's like, take that, please. It could happen tomorrow. They could literally come here tomorrow and be like. Suck but they dick. also they also could Brett? never they could come, they could and we should still be trying to save oh, the planet 100%, that we have one thousand percent we need yes. to be doing that I'm yes. just saying yes. it could not matter. I think what's scary is though that it, we, our minds do go to the fact that it probably isn't going to be great considering how well us as a world get along uh yeah, considering yeah. something coming from another place how well that will but go. the, other, the we other thing went... though is this though the other thing is this though this is the imagine like and I, someone brought it up before and i forget who it was uh if the aliens have been here for years and the probe just happened to swing by and, the, and then the aliens are like well you know the humans saw the probe like so yeah, like, yeah. We've, been do- we've been doing this for thousands of years it's essentially like cows if cows are grazing on the field and they see a plane, they go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And that's what, like, we are probably the we probably dumbest it. things to them. Yeah. Like, oh, so, yeah. if this is indeed the way it's been. If they have the technology to come here, we're stupid as shit. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's like, we think, we or think because the population st- has been around for 10 million more years. Which right. is why we're stupid. There's a very famous painting that is in the Smithsonian, and I, I've stared at it for, an, at like, hours the when I've ever gone to the, the oh, museum, right? The one that Ferris Bueller yes, says it? Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's it's a and it's got just little basically ball bearings that are stuck to this huge painting, and all the ball bearings are silver, and there's one 
tiny, tiny red ball bearing. And that red ball bearing signifies the amount of time the humans have been on the Earth. And the rest of the time is how the Earth has been in the ball bearing is. It's like a little silver BB. Oh, come on, guys. It's all ball bearings. It's all ball bearings. What? That's from Fletch. Fletch. Um, And it's it's the so basically the age of the Earth and what the human population has been on the Earth for like that time, right? So we are a tiny speck in the time that the Earth has been around, and we are going to destroy it in that tiny, tiny time. Are you guys scared to die? Yes. Yeah, me too. When I get high, I get real scared about Oh, that. God, it's when I'm going to bed and <laughs> yeah, I'm high. I get really uh, scared yeah. of It's that. like, I, I, I think of things that That's make me That's why I don't go, get high oh. that often. Yeah. It, it Chris is not afraid. Yeah. Oh. Afraid is the right word. Like, I, when you think about the spec thing, does that make you feel good or bad? It, well, uh, it, it, it fucks with my head. Yeah, it fucks with my head, too. Sometimes it's know. just like... It's like you know, it's you like, can't. Your brain can't even go there. Yeah, you, my, like, bra- my brain cannot. Fully cannot. awareness of like where we are, how yeah. small. I th- that I just literally, my brain like questions existence, and it's like <laughs> how this, little it fucking matters. Yeah, how little? Like I think that it comes down to a point that when it's time, and I hope it's when I'm in my 90s and my kids yeah. are grown up, but like that I'm gonna be looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. You're gonna think, look forward to dying. Yeah, I think because I'm gonna look forward to like it's it, what's next, and it's either nothing. And then I just sleep. It's like you're sleeping. Or some new shit comes. If I'm and 75 and I'm just like tired, oh, I'm just going to get in a Viking funeral and have somebody to, light me yeah. on fire. 75 right. is like super young it's these days. It's pretty young. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. 75 is too. V. Yeah. 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 Oh, when I'm 47, the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be I'm like, kind of with Brad on this point. I'm done. Here we go. <laughs> I've, I've gone it's on. Been I've done everything I can. Yes. So good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Aliens <laughs> shit, bro. And no, no, it was... Fucking and alien shit. I don't remember what it was. Whatever no, it was, we got to Because aliens up. and shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Because <laughs> aliens and shit. Yeah. Aliens and shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm very. I mean, we're not getting any internet, huh? The internet. We're still live though. Off the right, aliens. So. Have you guys, have you guys had a it. moment? Imagine if this was not live. And we're just up. talking about. Yeah. It. I mean, I saw the main article up. I just can't. get No, it I was just else. curious what the what the audience was thinking. What oh, moment? Right. Has sure. there been a moment in your life where you thought you saw? Like a UFO or anything in the sky? <laughs> Go ahead, Riley. Go ahead, Riley. In, in head, Michigan, Riley. Uh, walking, uh, making my my own alien abduction movie. Funny enough, Me. I'm with my director, associate producer. He has claimed, and you can listen to this on the Riley Roundtable. Kai Blackwood, he was on the show. He has claimed many times he's been abducted, and that one time he had something put behind his ear. All mm-hmm. right, and it was a big bump. And did he, he cut his own arm off? He did not cut his okay. own arm off, but he was telling me these stories leading up into the filming of this thing, and I'm like, dude, it's like you're a shark. They pulled you out of the water, they tagged you, and, they, and they're like studying you. He's like, dude, that's exactly right. Do you believe keep, him? I absolutely believe really? him because of this experience. Okay. Because he kept saying, that I keep seeing something. Like every year he would see something. So here we are walking in Michigan in the middle of the night, and he goes, oh shit, here we go. Like he, he, the way he said it was like, he's ready for this. And I watched this light, green with a halo around it, move across the sky right above the trees in front of us and stop. Just dead stop. And he's like, are you fucking seeing this? Are you fucking? And I'm like, I, 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 what is this? And it starts to move off into the distance like this. Another one came up behind us and flashed. And the whole forest lit up. And we screamed and we jumped around. And that thing just went. Phew. I've never seen anything like it in my wow. life. Never, ever, 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 ever. Yeah. I'm not calling it aliens because what it is is a UFO. It was Cocaine is a powerful drug. Mark. I was stone sober. Okay. We were shooting. We were working. Drugs. It was no drugs. Shooting. Nothing. Sure. Nope. Right. Nope. nope. I can't explain no, I, it for I get the life it. of me. I've never had one, but I'm so open to it. Like, if you're listening, aliens, come find me. Oh, man. It's okay. crazy. Suck yeah. my dick. And you're going to be that his... stripper that takes the sign in Independence Day. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, his stories were insane. Not a stripper. I'm just saying you're going to no, no. be the one on the roof. You're that I'm, character. I meant yeah. thank you. Okay. Take me. Yeah. It was. It's not a sarcastic. <laughs> okay. uh, it's very crazy. You're I mean, that look, stripper, but not a stripper. There's, there's <laughs> nothing, wrong, like nothing wrong with stripping, man. I am. Uh, cops, are we able to take calls? We can try it, but right. Cody's shaking his head. And Cody says, oh. no, we can't take calls. Oh, I don't think we can. The no. we can't, the oh, no, the internet. Yeah, there is no internet. Right, well, there yeah, you know. the internet's just... So we can't take questions. We can't oh, anything. shit. It's aliens. But cops are... I mean, you're... What, what do you think? 
uh, about you, all, all in general. In, in general, general. What's, your, what's your thoughts? Is, is there is it possible that that we're uh, been visited by aliens? Is it possible this this probe that Harvard says it could very well be a probe? Is that possible? Or, is it, or until you until you possible. see it, you don't believe it. I think it, no. I think it's all definitely entirely possible when it when it comes to actually you know believing in people's stories and hearing of them about being abducted. I'm like oh, okay, that's where I'm just like. Have you ever seen that movie Fire in the Sky, Cops? Oh yeah, I've God, had that, that movie yes, shook so, me to yeah. the core. Yeah, man. but wasn't it like proven that the guy it was it was. Probably, hoax. yeah. I mean, for me, it's it's more really? believe it until I oh, see it. And even when I see it, there might be an, uh, a reasonable explanation for it. But uh, I definitely think it's possible. I, I like to think that it is, you know, or even the thought that they've been here this entire time and they've just been sort of studying and watching us. And I like think they live. Lot, yeah, yeah. Like I think that's a lot creepier and and probably even more plausible. You know, if they're like actual interdimensional. And they can actually, you know, phase through time and they phase through different parallels. And, you know, I like to think that we as human beings, we have different parallel universes as well. And, you know, hey, maybe that's why we have deja vu because like, hey, this seems familiar. We've, it's happened before. It's because it's happened in a previous life or it's in a, a different universe. fantastic universe. point. Also, yeah, thank you. The aliens, if, well, because look, the aliens have the ability to travel, if they that that type of technology to travel in and out of parallel universes. Yeah. That's another thing that they can go in and out and zip into here, zip in somewhere else. You see the I mean, if they had that type they of found ability, a wrinkle in time of sorts, whatever it might be. I mean, Black again, hole. it's like it sounds like when you talk about it, it sounds too sci-fi. You know, this just sounds like a movie. James Cameron's going to do, you but know, like, it's you know. the internet would have sounded too sci-fi if you were talking to somebody three hundred years ago. Yeah, well, absolutely, they would have been like, "That's not a thing. That's not a thing that you have a box in front of you and, and you, you type something. You can talk world, to people right. across the world. That would have sounded too sci-fi. A fax machine would have sounded too right. sci-fi. Like, An airplane would have sounded too here's sci-fi. Here's my face. Well, here's right. my face. You can you can put it there and here's my face and I can and, talk to my mother in Scotland or something. But right. a guy in the clouds with a big beard. Yeah. Answers Who's your that? prayers. That's feasible. No, but speaking <laughs> speaking of the cloud, that the fucking cloud exists. All my shit lives in a yeah. fucking what cloud. What is that? Right? It's all it's all too unbelievable it's and too sci-fi. Uh, up them or Cody. What do you? Uh, sorry, it's old school. What do you? What Why do you don't get? we call him up them anymore? Uh, it just it doesn't fit anymore. He don't like uh, it anymore. Had its time. It's had its time. Um, what do you think? Huh. Uh, well, I just got distracted because I think we have the internet back up oh, on the phone call computer. But no. absolutely, aliens are out there. There's too much, too many galaxies, too many stars. Absolutely, they're out there. I agree. You know what they said in context? My favorite line. The father, when he's with young Jodie Foster, waste said, space. waste of space if there wasn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because of 100%. And it, and the meaning Love of that, that line, line, it's so just infinite. We d- we do not have, to your point, Christian, we do not have that technology yet to go all the way out there. Right. See it. right now, we're just doing what we can. Launch a satellite. We see Earth. To yeah. whatever the hell that is. Well, space is the next exploration. I mean, it really, it, it really final frontier. But that's the thing. It, re- it really is. Truth it's is like if we, we, I, I think that should be the thing that we're working on the most is try to find a way. Have every scientist try to figure out a way for us to get a ship out there to be able to go, go, and go, and to use that money instead of spending it on all the bullshit. Yeah. Going back to your earlier point of the stuff that really doesn't matter, right? There's because the problem is that we just can't get with the way that we're super divided in general right now, like even yesterday when you're watching everything that was going on with the election, right? And I'm not getting into uh, uh, which side or anything too, but there were two teams playing in a, in a game yesterday. Mm-hmm. That's all it was. It's not, it's it's what government's supposed to be is whoever is is in the leadership is supposed to take care of everyone inside of the entire, entire, in, entire uh, country, right? But that is not the case. It is my team is gonna win, we're going to take care of our team. You guys can try to win. If you want, good luck to you. And if we do win, we're going to fuck you up, and we're going to try to figure out a way to do it. Yesterday, Are you talking about the Red Sox? <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, both teams won. A, it was a tie yesterday. Yeah. There was a, it was a draw. And, and, and that's what we're focused on. We're focused on that. We're not focused on trying to work together because even if some of the people on one team believe in stuff the other team believes in, Never going to admit it. It, it. I watched a little bit of the Donald Trump press conference this morning, and I, I will never say I don't like tweeting about politics or being super crazy. But the fact that he got up there and insulted all the Republicans that didn't support him and lost mm-hmm. is just a it's a it's a sham that's your own party and and you're right dude it, the leadership should be embracing everybody let's work together to figure this out but instead he's like oh mia yeah. she didn't support me she lost bye mia but like, the other he, he's, fuck he's, you, he's a whole, but he's a whole other kind of animal because it's to, to where like he the one, the one thing the one thing with him is that he's Could always be. been he, he's never changed he's been who he was who he got elected that's who he is yeah but the thing is too and to the flip side of it is that when you have democrats that get in 
power, it's the same thing. And the things that Republicans want that might be good for the, let's say for, good for the economy, and they want to come in, it gets shot down right away because that's just the way that our government is set up. It's mm-hmm. uh, we're the team in charge. Sit back and suck it, or try to win for somebody else to get in there, right. and then you fight over here. You fight over here. Nobody's together, and it, it's it's bullshit all the way around. It's just it's just the, part of the, it's just the, the way it is. Bicameral system is it's not working. It does Doesn't not work. work at all, and it's right. just and and it's not going to change. But the point is going back to Roxy's, Roxy's earlier point is that it's it in in the grand scheme of things. Yes, right now a lot of these things are important. But it should be down the line for our kids, 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 kids. We need to figure out what else is out there because eventually they're going to have to leave the fucking planet. There's just going to yeah. be too many people here. Whether you believe in, uh, I mean, I, I I happen to believe in very much so global warming, but there are tons of people who don't. But whether or not you do or you don't, eventually, I can't believe that's a believe or I, not. It's crazy. Do you believe yeah. this table is fucking wood? Uh, yeah, but actually, either way, Listen is there this. some yeah. place in that other than space exploration that we could we could put money to say educate? People, right, right, these things, and which, maybe is, which is another huge which problem. Which I didn't hear yes. mentioned once in Trump's. No, not once. Not once. It was steel. And I was wondering yeah. why you were looking at him. Once. Reprimanding McCougar. He's Trump this, too. So. I know. I listened to it, too, yeah. and it yeah. was mind-numbing. Mind-numbing. Uh, right. This guy uh, hit us up, uh, Chicken Paprika. Nice. Which, uh, oh. At Jay Brent Smith. Paprika. He brought up something called the Fermi Paradox, and I just looked into it. And yeah, it's, it is. It's exactly what we're kind of talking about here. It's named after a physicist. It's the apparent contradiction between the lack of evidence and high probability estimates for the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations because of the fact that there are billions of stars that are like our sun. Right. All over the place. So they're basically saying that we don't have the evidence, so we're saying it can't be. But that's a paradox because you're like, there's so much out there. So much. We you can't make that. I feel like that is evidence. That's evidence. Yeah. That's what this is. That's why. It's, and there's a great the, uh, little picture here. It looks like the game Berserk from back in the day. Yeah. How that helps describe it. Our closest star, even if we travel at the speed of light, would take like seven to ten light years I to know. get there. It's insane. It's crazy. So I mean, it's, it's it, there's just so much that is just you cannot. You no one no one should say no. Does not possible. You can you can choose whether or not you like Roxy said before. That's not what I think happened. Like Roswell, I do happen to think Roswell happened. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I happen to think that it happened. Um, but you know, again, you, that's there's. It's just that these things that are out there. The possible is it possible that it happened? Sure, it's possible. Is yeah, it possible definitely. it didn't happen. Absolutely, it's possible it didn't happen either. Yeah. But I just think that people right away because and I think that it goes back to your your conversation on death. I think people are scared and. Very similar to the conversation I had with my wife last night. She didn't want to talk about that because it scared her. And I think that that's why people don't want to believe certain things because it terrifies them. Of They want to live in the bubble. Like, And t- this morning I was leaving my, my kid's school and I heard you know people talking about the election and the races and everything happened yesterday. And, and I realized how much of a bubble we are in in Los Angeles, right? We, we're oh, all in our yeah. particular beliefs. and Because they were of the same belief. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same consensus to where yeah. in, where we are. It's like everybody, and you feel, and because of that, you, you, you have this false narrative. That's what the world should be, and that's the way everyone should feel. But then Which is why people were so surprised when Trump was elected. Right. And then when the you put it. Suburban, you, urban, and rural divide is huge. Yes. It's so and, when huge. You, and as you grow up in other places, you know, that, that are very much supporting. Um, that side of it that they feel that it's crazy that we feel this uh-huh. side so that's why the divide is there and I never and it's, it's just very hard for me <laughs> like I have my strong beliefs uh, I have my strong opinions on on a lot of things inside of the government but it's also hard for me to say I just believe in, in open conversation and it's just not there in general it's uh-uh. just not there in, in either party it's not. I, uh, I went to the JPL uh, I think like three years ago for the Interstellar DVD release I think Schmo sent me there okay uh, yes. I mean, yes, four yes, years yes. ago, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. And it was awesome. I got to talk to this like super renowned astrophysicist that helped um, Christopher Nolan and his brother write the script and, and get everything right. Uh, and I, I know that a lot of people had some problems with the ending of Interstellar, but the actual stuff in Interstellar, when you go to the other planets and they found those other planets yeah, yeah. and you hit that black I love hole. love the way that it worked, the time and stuff, it too. It was yeah. awesome. I friggin' loved that movie. And Not for me. You didn't like how that how worked? Many, how, many, how many times have you seen the movie? Twice. I, 
Oh, really? Yeah, See, I, 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 I didn't like it the first time I saw it, and I loved it the second time the, I saw it. The library stuff just, like, ruins it for mm. me, or whatever you See, call I, that. I didn't love, I, again, I that didn't love me. that part of the movie. I really enjoyed the science of it. Yeah, right? yeah so I agree with that. I went to the JPL, which is, you know, basically has our nation, if not the world's smartest astrophysicists and people working in space and people from all over the world, and I went into where the Mars rover is and when they're looking at certain things and so everything. Cool. It's really cool. It was, it was amazing. Got, like, a firsthand look at all this kind of stuff. The amount of work that they are putting in just to figure out a parachute on how to land on Mars because of the atmosphere is incredible, and they right. are not even close, as they said. Right. I mean, that there is so much work that is going into it. I know you said, like, all the scientists should be doing this. There's a lot of scientists doing a lot of other things that should be helping our, our nation at, at, like our, and our country and the world in certain extent. But J, what JPL is doing is very, very impressive. Oh, of course, but it, but a cent, you imagine if they had more help. Yeah. Because, because that's that's the thing is there are, there are certain sectors that don't think we should be – Doing this at all, and, yeah. and, yep. and, and I just think that it is it it should be the ultimate focus. It I has think. to because yeah. it could help so many things that we don't even know. Like you know, you talk to a lot of scientists and doctors, and they usually say they're ten years away from blank, right? So like, obviously, this is a world that I knew very well, the brain cancer world. If you talk to uh, doctors when my mom was sick, they would say we're ten years away from a cure. We're seven years forward now, and we are Nothing. we're still yeah. ten years away from a cure. Right. That's what they say. So putting money into medical research is very important, but what's really important about space exploration, not that I'm expecting it to solve all problems, but we don't know what's out there. We don't know what we could find, and it could help so many different areas right. of our of global warming, of medical issues, of education. We don't know what they could teach or what technology yeah. they have, of travel, transportation. Yeah. But like, let's call it what it is. And we're, we're not, we're, the, the, the real exploration that we hope that we get is going to be about – Ten times uh, past when when we all pass away. Oh yeah, yeah. we're it's, we're fucked. It's we're, gonna be we're yeah, we're, we're done by the time we see it. But it'll be like uh, again. I think that it just needs to be seriously looked at, and I think that that's essentially why they are looking at Mars because can Mars be somewhere to sustain life down the line? Because this planet is going to collapse on itself eventually. Do whether you think it's a people, thousand, thousand, too many people? Thousand, yeah. Will many, people be yeah. able to live forever at any point? Mm. Um, the reason why I will tell you yes is because of the stuff with AI. The stuff happening with artificial intelligence. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, if you listened when, when, um, uh, dude, God, I can't blank. Stephen Hawking. Elon Musk. Thank you. Elon, Elon Musk uh, was on Joe Rogan, Elon and they Musk. were talking about AI and the things that were possible and things that they could do. It's, it's crazy. I mean, it's it's it is absolutely. I don't trust the robots. N no, I know you don't, and then and that neither do they. Um, Rogan and, and Musk, but when you hear it and you hear and Musk hearing what you could be able to do, and what he's kind of working on too, t the ways you could preserve yourself, and you look at electro uh, electricity. Your consciousness is, yes. your, is will uh, be preserved more yes. so than your actual physical body. So do I think it's possible? Yes, I do think it's possible. That you so live crazy. forever. Do you trust the robots or aliens more? Oh, I trust the aliens way more than the robots. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah because AI, Fuck, man. AI is 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 no joke. No. I, mean, it's, I know. It is something. When the aliens come back in in a thousand years from now, if if we're even here, right. then the robots are running the fucking place. Yeah. Um, but anyway, listen. I love this conversation today. I like I like That's us going crazy, in this particular yeah. direction. Um, Suck my dick. God bless you. And I Thank hope you. that everybody uh, had a wonderful time today. Uh, Josh McCougar. I know I did. You did. I did. Brett Sheridan. Hey. Nice to see you, my friend. How, How you doing, doing, buddy? You look Good. nice. You look relaxed. Oh, I'm just chilling. Can you fart in space? I love thinking about death. <laughs> oh, I think there's actually like weird <laughs> articles about that that you, you can, can look fart up. in space. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Look at it. Fart in space and what R it does. Yeah, Riley, thank you <laughs> yeah. so much for being here. Thank it's you. Nice it was to see a you. Fun one. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be back on yeah. Monday. Do we have any guests on Monday? We, don't we are know. not. Oh, back no, we're on not here on Monday. We're off on Monday. We're off on Monday because of the holiday. Veterans Day. Veterans Day. We're not here on Monday. No, we're off on Monday. Veterans Day. Tell me. I just told you. Veterans Day. We're off. Make sure, guys, once again, please, whether you're listening on the replay or if you're watching live right now, go on over to TriviaSD.com. Please browse around there. Want to get this thing every day. We're going to try to get some articles up there, too, for William Beast Bibiani and his team of amazing writers that will keep bringing you content. And check us out on Tuesday. Collider Live. That's us. Bye-bye.